be on my level. I be on my level. I be on my level. Ah, uh, okay, look, I've been on a mission to the top. And when I get there, it's gonna go down. Lapping the competition, why they telling us to slow down? Come for it all, no, that ain't enough just to go round. Waking up the sleepers, if you ain't know, ha, well, man, you know now, yeah. I'm not your average guy, we set that bar too high. There's more than monetary differences between you and I. Hey, hey, this the squad that you don't want to meddle with. You know we take it higher, we ain't never settling. Come on, hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. I be on my level. Pull up, pull up. All I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. I be on my level. Hey, we be about to go off. These boys ain't got no sauce. On the winning streak, I promise we ain't taking no loss. We ain't got nothing in coming, you and I. Money keep falling like stars out the sky. Take it easy, hey, they don't believe me. We on another wave, like we ain't hearing what he say. Yeah, they talking trash, you can put it in the garbage. When they know you rap that hardest, you gon' always be a target. Yeah, I put that on my mama. We ain't down for the drama. Keep on adding the commas, the numbers is getting longer. Hey, yeah, I told you, homie, we ain't nothing to meddle with. We just broke the knob, going to another level, yeah. Okay, Hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. Pull up, pull up, all I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. Me, know you on the right track. 
beyond infinity and back again. And to them, young dog and attacking. Hello everyone and welcome to another JEI National Esports League stream. Today we are showcasing Valorant. I'm your host, Sexy Dexy, and with me today is Shinigami. <laughs> Shinigami, what's up, man? It's been a while. Uh, not much. Just here, ready to cast some amazing games. Right. Looking forward to the showcase that's about to happen. All right. Sounds good. I'm excited too. Um, we have six teams competing for $200,000 to see, you know, which top three teams will walk away with a share of the prize pool. And as I mentioned, this is the JEI National Esports League. 
we started in was it April? Wow. Yeah, we started in April on a mission to complete nine games. Today is the last one. Well, today is the first day for the last one. Today is the last day. Yes. So um we're doing day one today and then tomorrow we will have day two and figure out who the top three players will be. Um, as you saw in the starting soon screen, we have some sponsors who are helping to make this possible. First of all, I want to say um, thanks to Digicel for being on board as a primary sponsor. And with them, we get the Sportsmax app where we're also streaming this tournament. Um, we also get the My Digicel app, uh, Loop, and Bit. So make sure that you guys are checking out all of those um, applications. You know? They are very useful and will help you guys to communicate, read some news, etc. etc. So as mentioned, we're doing nine games and the total price pool we're giving away for this year is a whopping $1 million. We did, um, I think Rocket League was the first tournament we did, then FIFA um second seven mortal combat pubg mobile eFootball, league of legends smash brothers am i leaving out any that sounds like all of them oh wait brawlhalla was one of them as well and today we're doing valorant um as mentioned the tournament will be possible without, without our sponsor I mentioned did you, did you sell already so let's get into the rest of them. We have Virtual Reality Jamaica, um, Gilded, Primus Gaming, Fresh Approach Supermarket, Domino's. And as I mentioned, Domino's, there is actually a raffle going on now. So if you're in the chat already, you can start typing exclamation mark raffle to, you know, enter to join the raffle and see if you are one of the lucky winners. We're doing several of those today, so, you know, look out for your opportunity. There's also the eSports store. I revive store, Rocket Go Kart and Rocket Paintball Experience, Buzzers Jamaica and LOL Stop Stop. And our partners are Fusion Pro Gaming Lounge from Mandeville, Yard Gaming, XPG Video Games, and Esports Jamaica. And with that said, let's jump into the teams that we have um, in the competition today. Shinigami, we have Orkana, Aces Arsenal. Your favorite night raid. <laughs> Don't the, say that. The round table, Beagles, and Climatic Gaming. And the first match we're kicking off today will be um, Climatic Gaming versus Forkana. So let me just show you guys the brackets and the layout. Um, as mentioned, we only have six teams. So night raid and the round table gets a buy from round one. And like we said, we're getting Climatic Gaming versus Four Corner first. Um, Aces Arsenal versus Beagles will be played offline. And then we're only doing four games on stream today. Um, then in round two, we'll have both games in the round two of the winner's bracket. And then we'll jump into the loser's bracket and stream one of those games. And then tomorrow, you guys will need to come back to see which of the teams finish in the top four. So Shania, any favorites from what you've seen so far? I mean, you already named the favorite for me when I didn't even say <laughs> one. But as as you already said, I already know what Night Raid can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. I know the quality of their players. I've seen them perform before. And I'm expecting a strong performance today. Okay, so there's one other team we also need to look out to. Well, all of the teams because they can surprise us. But we were doing some scrims um, throughout the week, and the round table is an interesting team to look out for. Um, some of the players on there, they were on a team called Secret Agent. So, ah, yeah. So now that you mentioned them, okay. yes, yes. yes like, Strong players also. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be an interesting matchup. We're looking forward to that one. Yeah. And Four Corner has always been a part of the um, tournament. I think they finished fourth in one of them. Um, Aces Arsenal was called Cobra Kai in our last tournament. They keep changing names. <laughs> yeah. And this time. Rebranding, they... switching up, trying yeah. to get some strength. There you go. And then this time they picked up a Call of Duty player known as Joker. 
Now, he has been one of the top Call of Duty players in Jamaica for a while. He was living in, I think, Canada, and then he moved back to Jamaica. And because we're not doing any Call of Duty tournament over here, you know, he do he did what any professional player would do, and you you trans transition his skills to a different. So yeah. he's now in Valorant. So we're looking to see some good things from Aces Arsenal. And then he goes, the captain of that team is Kingsen, who, as you might know, is a part of the Dr. Burr's Rocket League team who traveled to the UK in early this month to compete in the inaugural Commonwealth Esports Championship. So he's a Rocket League player, he's a sim racer, and now he's a first person shooter. So multi talented. We're looking out for that game as well. It will be off stream, but hopefully we if they do get dropped into the losers bracket, we might be able to see how the team performs there. But you know, some big stuff to go to. And thematic gaming has been around for a while as well. They are a group yeah. of young players. Long standing members. Yeah, they're looking to see, you know, if they can make their mark on the scene. The captain Jackson has assembled a team of young players. And you know, the younger they are the better they will be later on. So we're yeah, to see you can mold and get them prepared for performance. Yeah. All right. So that's the lineup that we have for today. Um, We're going to get the teams ready in the meantime, and then we'll jump back into the tournament. And you guys can start, you know, preparing to see who you will vote for and pick your favorite for the tournament. So give us a couple of minutes while we get things set up and then we'll jump into the first match in about five to ten minutes so stick around we won't be going for too long Beyond infinity and back again. Come to them. Young dog and attacking.
hey guys thank you so much for sticking around and waiting um we're still getting the players ready um some of them having some technical difficulties um internet been out for the day for a couple of people so they're working on getting their substitute in um in the meantime the team captain of both team will be doing their picks and bands um for the maps and also their side selection and when that is finished we will get into the game so mr shinigami sir valorant what are the prospects you think for it for jamaica as a replacement for say call of duty or even counter strike well counter strike isn't doing as well in the north american scene and being that we're most we're closer to North America, you know, mm -hmm. we're within that region. I would say that this has the greatest um, prospect. Uh, Riot as a company puts a lot into this game and there are many small tournaments for up and coming players to get their chance to shine. Yeah. The game gives you adequate resources to develop your skill set. And soon enough, I'm expecting a lot of gems to pop up out of this country. We just need people to put in the time put the work in practice and soon enough we'll have rising stars agreed agreed and i think we do have some rising stars here um we have one female player in actually two yes i'm so happy <laughs> so we love to hear that women in esports we're all for it we only had one female player in valorant which is mickey um you know her as Coco Goat in game, but I think she changed her name in game again. <laughs> so, but Beagles will actually be adding a female player to their roster today. So, hopefully, we get to see how they perform. I know we'll get the results from each game as a screenshot in our communication platform builded, but it will definitely be interesting to see how she does and how Mickey does in her. Um, match later on versus the winner of this game which we're still trying to get set up well um, we know that mickey is a seasoned veteran she's been doing this for quite some time now yeah. she's had experience in esports namely league and now mm -hmm. she's bringing over her skill set her um iron will to valorant and i'm expecting to see a lot from her team we really love seeing the women show up in this scene it's typically male dominated but we know that women can shine here it's just a matter of practice and um we're just hoping to see some really great play coming from both female members yeah. of the um valorant esports community in jamaica that's good i'm looking forward to that as well um so let's talk a little bit more about the teams because um night raid last time they were out the sorry the current night raid is a mixture of one of the teams that played in the previous tournament i think they were called the lanes so they acquired two players from that team exo shazi and a guy named tanji and they've been playing together since so there should be a lot of synergy there um i know the rain rune the round table was also a part of the previous tournament and they acquired I think one member from Secret Service. So we should be looking out for those two to probably make it to the finals based on their current rank and their skill matchup and so on. But in the yeah, having more experience, yeah. yeah, it would dictate that they're likely to do better. But you never really know what's going to happen. It's team play. Individual skill is very important. But if the lower tier teams have greater team play, you will see them shine and it's very likely that we'll have a dark horse upset mm -hmm. or reigning champion yeah um i think the reigning champion is secret service well no it's still night raid because they won the most tournaments so far but the last one we had out um secret service did take that one who won the last tournament um so let's see how this one goes. Right, so just doing our final checks and prep to see where we're going with this. Okay. 
Okay. Get in the picks and bang this game. Alright, so guys, we're gonna check to one more quick break. And then we'll hopefully get the tournament started for you. So stick around, don't go nowhere. We're getting things set up. We'll be right back.
on my level. I be on my level. I be on my level. Ah, uh, okay, look, I've been on a mission to the top. And when I get there, it's gonna go down. Lapping the competition why they telling us to slow down. Come for it all, no, that ain't enough just to go round. Waking up the sleepers, if you ain't know, ha, well, man, you know now, yeah. I'm not your average guy. We set that bar too high. There's more than monetary differences between you and I. Hey, hey, this the squad that you don't want to meddle with. You know we take it higher. We ain't never settling. Come on, hold up. Hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. Pull up, pull up, all I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. Hey, we be about to go off. These boys ain't got no sauce. On the winning streak, I promise we ain't taking no loss. We ain't got nothing it coming, you and I. Money keep falling like stars out the sky. Take it easy, ay, they don't believe me. We on another wave, like we ain't hearing what he say. Yeah, they talking trash, you can put it in the garbage. When they know you rap the hardest, you gon' always be a target. Yeah, I put that on my mama. We ain't down for the drama. Keep on adding the commas, the numbers is getting longer. Hey, yeah, I told you, homie, we ain't nothing metal with we just broke the knob going to another level yeah okay hold up hold up hold up cause i'm going in you know you know what it is i be on my level i be on my level can't touch me now i be on my level pull up pull up all i all i do is win you know you know what it is i be on my level i be on my level can't touch me now i be on my level I be on my level. 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is.
all right guys thank you so much for sticking around with me with us <laughs> thank you for your patience and um we've been some of the teams been having some technical difficulties so we have a change in the schedule so instead of climatic gaming versus for Kana, we're going to have aces arsenal versus egos so we did talk a little about the team earlier um with joker being a call of duty player now um playing valorant so hopefully we'll see if he can leave his lead the team to victory um and yeah we'll see how it goes and remember we mentioned that there's a female player on egos so let's see how that goes um so we have Aces Arsenal will be playing on the left. Well, it depends. When they finish um figuring out their their um what you call it? <laughs> their picks and their yeah, bands. Their, their sides, their side selection. We will update which side they'll be playing on. So we're going to the pick and band now. And then we will we will start. Um it's really interesting to follow these picks and bands. You can tell which um you can tell which maps a team favors and where their strength lies. Mm -hmm. And depending on how these picks and bands go, you could see a certain team just outperform another just because they don't have a lot of practice or they're not familiar with a map. So when this is through we will be able to determine well just have an inkling towards how said team may perform yeah that was good so um as we see so the first map banned by Vigos is fracture and this is arsenal and the bind so no um they're gonna pick side and then they will pick the other map it'd be really interesting to see an ice box come out today that's where we have a lot of aim duels yeah and we'll see who's mechanically strong True. it'd be great to see an ice box uh, matchup We're eagerly awaiting their um, confirmations. As soon as they get sorted, we'll jump right into it. Oh, so that song I was listening to. Okay, cool. So first map will be accent. Is that no, right. it's accent. So accent. Accent. <laughs> Don't mind my accent, people. <laughs> All right. Um we should we should expect to see some chamber play on this map. Chamber yeah. tends to be a staple throughout the game, but on this map definitely we're expecting to see some chamber play. Uh really would like to see what Breeze. There's a Breeze in the mix, so we're gonna see Viper. Okay. Viper cool. is integral to Breeze play. Alright, so let me make a note of that. Where's my note? <laughs> so, um, Migos picked Ascent for map one, and Aces picked Attack. Then map two will be Breeze, and Migos will defend. All right. So everything is already lined up. We are going to get ready. 
Alright, like I said, guys, thank you so much for sticking around with us. We apologize for the delays. Um, but you know, these things happen. So we have Aces Arsenal versus Vigos. It's a best of three. And we're about to get into it. Yes, everybody is ready. Shinigami, are you ready? I'm very ready. All I right. can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I've been ready. So here we go. Let's kick things off. Um, all right, let's see how they go in this fix. All right. So on the defenders, we have Rays and we have our favorite healer as i said there's gonna be a chamber there's definitely gonna be a chamber for smokes we have brim surprised that there isn't a chamber locked on the side of the attackers mm. oh we have astra very interesting very interesting let's see what b will lock in here Alright, I'm just fixing up the... There we go. So Bigos on the left and Aces Arsenal on the right. Oh, no, I saw B. Bebop hasn't locked in as yet. Shimmy, you're so we have a KO lock in. So we're going to expect some aggressive pop flashes into sight. Oh, there we go, there we go. Sorry. Bebop. On the jet. We're going to see some really heated jet versus jet duels. Can't wait for that. I'd really love to see... I'm looking forward to seeing how each jet player will take ground and allow their team to advance. Jet play. Opening picks really expecting a lot from anybody who's holding that um position mm -hmm. they tend to be the make or break for the star of our own all right well we're in pistol and you already know how that works. Pistol will determine a lot moving forward. This is how you start building your bank, setting up your economy. Right. I, I really should have figured out um, which one of the players is the female player. I'm thinking it might be Skate76. Should we should we bet on it? <laughs> Alright, well, and we're seeing we'll action. So we're getting right into the mix of thing. Mix of things. <laughs> uh your standard you. slow lurk towards the site. They're gonna be cautious, they're gonna clear their angles. Perchy takes out storm. I mean no smokes going forward for the rest of this round. They're being really patient. One down on the set of defenders. Probably waiting for an opening flash from KO. Jet enters the site. Clear site. And the plan's quickly done for the attackers. Now it's up to the defenders to make their move onto the site. Skate still hasn't rotated. Not sure what Skate is waiting on to move on to the next bomb site, but. Rotation is coming in slowly. Bebop's in dire need. Somehow, very side catches Chronic into it. Very standard hole here. Joker with really nice shots. Onto the raise. 
And this is just clean, clear cut. The defenders really took way too long to rotate to that side. They didn't put up much of a fight. Much of a fight. Well, at least we get to see some action there. Um, three kills for G Savior. One for Persia and one for Joker. You know, getting some damage in. Um, I think they're gonna... Well, I see some spending coming through. Yeah, everybody, you know, you made some money, so buy up your guns and gonna get into it again. Well, in the second round, you, you generally buy up. You're trying to build your bank right here. So, attackers will have ARs. Somehow, Blank Title gets caught out right there, not expecting the push. And the attackers take sight quickly. A seems to be really weak for the side of the defenders. Now let's see how the defenders will play this. They need to take ground quickly. Molly goes out to stall the push coming from... Astra Star is being used, but there's really no push onto the side. They're really slow and patient. Perchy, G Saver, being aggressive, taking out. The attackers are just dominant. I like the aggressive play style that they're using in this game. You know, pick a side, rush it hard. Um, they already it ahead. really seems to be weak. Yeah. And it looks like they can just float right in. Blank Title was supposed to be very prepared for that push, but somehow he was caught off guard. Being a chamber, you're supposed to be prepped for that one. Most likely holding the angle. But on the side of the defense, they seem to be pushed around. We're going to see a switch up coming from the attackers. They're going to make a play onto the A site. Dogs being used. It clarifies that there are people on site. The kill knife detects that someone's there. Pain shells go out to slow the push, but no damage has been done. The attackers are patient. Slowly setting up their push, rotating throughout mid. The trade should come in, but Bebop gets two in that scenario. Really good for Bebop, halting a potential push. Mid is no longer compromised. No, we're just going to wait to see what happens next. With two down on the side of the attackers, how will they play this? The rotation has been made towards A. Angles will be cleared. Their stash is onto the side, takes out Brim, who was trying to halt their push, but to no avail. Minimum effect. We're sitting up for a duel right here between... Wow, very takes out, which is surprising being that G-Saver was already pre-aimed and ready. Still anybody's game, but this is going to be a difficult... Uh, this isn't looking good. And it goes to the defenders. Obviously in that situation, it's it's really hard to come out on top being that we had two up on the side of the defenders. That was a good play. Um, better showing right there. Um, they get some money in the bank now. They're able to buy up their more funds. And we see that two players on Attackers have their ultimate ready. Let's see if they'll make use of it. Um, but outside of that, it's been a fairly decent opening so far. Well, we can expect knives to be used in the next round, being that G Saver didn't buy a gun. He only has a classic. Never mind that. He yeah. buys out. Makes sense. They're making their standard push towards A yet again. Knowing that the A site's weak, Chamber's gonna give sight, being that he's detected. Spike planted. 
no command being used by the KO. Yeah, they're pretty set up. Um, it's up to the defenders to walk into sight now. How will they retake? They're being patient, biding their time, waiting for smokes to dissipate. Very side cleared the headshot. A angle did m massive damage, but gets sprayed from bottom. Skate's been very patient, not aggressing onto site. Gets caught leaving. So she's trying to save her gun. I'm not entirely sure what's happening with Skate. There seems to be some disconnect between what the um, defenders are trying to do and what uh, she might be thinking. I'm not entirely sure, but multiple times she's been slow to act. The tempo of the um, attackers isn't being matched by the defenders. Uh, they might need to switch it up and do something a bit more aggressive to catch them out. Multiple times they've given sight for free and it's not really paying out. Alright, they're waiting to duel. Wait, did he just teleport back? Yeah, so Instead Chamber <laughs> Chamber didn't really want to take that one, so he TP'd to a much safer position. We already have one down on the side of the defenders. They lost their jet. I think the uh, attacker sold the fake. All eyes should be towards A. Ult's being used. Nightfall. And sight's free. Really easy take on the side of the attackers. Let's see how the, the defenders attempt to retake this one. Unfortunate encounter is going down. Chrome's is just dominant. Astra doing the most. It's up to... Two players on the side of the defenders. This is a 2v4. It's looking really impossible. Blind title needs an opening pick and fast. At this point, he can only play for exits. It's looking rough for the uh, defenders. The only thing I can say, fortunately for them, two players died on the side of the attacker is to the bomb. So I guess that helps. Their economy in some way, mm -hmm. but destitution is the look at the moment. Let's see what they decide to do. The defenders really need to switch it up, probably take it to them because at this point they're just being pushed around. All right, pain shells, big, doing damage. Again, the site's been taken without any major halt. Like, there's nothing to prevent them from just rolling right in. Sure, the pain shells will do some damage, but that's pretty much it. Interesting, uh, well, this is an eco coming from the defenders. Luckily for Storm, he finds a gun. Maybe he'll be able to do something with this. It's looking rough, uh... We need to have some prayers out there for the, uh, defenders. But this should be a gun room for the defenders. Maybe this will be the switch. The change that they need. Mm -hmm. We have Bebop on the op. That's huge. A jet op in. 
could really change things up. Let's Maybe she can looks... catch someone out, stall the push. Aim duels are being taken in mid. G Saver really seems to be strong here. That's the art that we were talking about. B Wop does damage with it. So the op is being utilized. Well, Chambers Tor. Chambers ult and the op is being put to use on the side of defenders. Teleport's ready. So this should really make a difference. Potentially halting any play that's been made towards A, hopefully. The rotate should be coming in. Utility is being used towards A. They should be prepared for this. Unfortunately, Skate gets caught out. Ooh. Oh, being put to use yet again. Bebop with another massive pick. 30 seconds left. Oh, wow. Bebop being huge for the squad. Unfortunately, gets taken down. But this is even. It, it could go anywhere. Showstopper being put into use. Wow, she got the kill. See if Percy can get the 1v2. Percy has to be big here. Oh. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, he didn't respond to it quickly. And very side. On the raise, quickly dispatches him. I was a bit worried there, you know. Because I thought he might have gotten that headshot. Because both of the players were pushing together. But, you know. All being well. All being well. Um, Perchy quickly taps his head and then switches to the, the next target. But we didn't see that there. Oh. I, I don't want to so... miss any of these up kills this time. So let's check on Bebop. Ace is Arsenal. Looking strong so far. Wow. Again, the typical A take. They've had success here before. They'll have success here again. Aggressing. Bebop takes out G Saver, which is huge on the side of the defenders. They need something here. Oh my, oh, my goodness, b up with the knives, making it happen for his squad. b up is going crazy, he's opening everything. One enemy remaining. Chronic intake, someone walks up into that smoke and gets something, that's just, just crazy. No, it's between Chrome's. And the defenders. Can he make it happen? One enemy remaining. Oh, wow. Too easy for a guy like Chrome's. <laughs> Brings it home for the attackers. That was nice. Bros <laughs> don't fake. Skate should have stuck that defuse. Oh, will the dominance continue? We're, we're going to find out here. Again, they're taking it to A because if it's working, why why change it? They've done plenty to clear the site. Rim is hoping to potentially stall this push, but I'm not entirely sure. The rotate is also happening a bit early. The defenders are all funnel funneling in towards A. Grimold has no effect. Spike 
planted. I know it's just a waiting game. Who will get the first pick? Who's gonna? Very too well halting any advance the defenders could make right there. Storms get gets a pick. Now it's time for them to just funnel into sight. The defenders are already making plays onto sight. Oh. But it was a little too late. Again, the defenders are just seemingly not aggressive enough. Players need to be made. Hmm. I think Skate is a little bit too hesitant. She probably needs to be a bit more aggressive to help her team out some more. No command being used. No abilities are available on the side of the defenders. This KO is super aggressive. Knows how to use his utility. Halting any potential pushes with the molly. Flashing into the smoke. But he's just asking for too much. He gets one to T back by Bebop. It's missed by the surety. There's still a lot, a lot being put into play, and the, the alts are being just used on the side of the attackers. The defenders are being stalled in every way possible. They're very afraid to make any movements towards the site. The retake needs to happen. Yet again. <laughs> We're gonna need to have. I'm not even sure at this point. Something big on the side of the fenders. So, who do you think on that team could, you know, do something? Bebop seems back? to be the strongest content at the moment. He's leading his team. Mm -hmm. And his AWP seems to be reliable. So we need Bebop to stay on that AWP and to make as much impact as possible. The Cosmic Divide being used. So with that ult in place, the defenders can't hear what's happening on the opposite side. Very side was in a good position to make something happen, but he got cleared. Unfortunately, he couldn't make a difference there. Oh, man. <laughs> Again, I will emphasize the fact that the ults are being put to great use round, on the side the of the attackers. Minimal ult usage when it comes to defense. Not that their uh, arsenal can do much. It Honestly, I think it's just a bit of comp also on the side of the attackers. Mm -hmm. They can take so much control of the map just because of the amount of utility that they have. Astra's a really strong pick. We're gonna need to see better smokes coming from our broom player. He needs to be able to halt their advances. I'm not sure what was happening there with our uh, Sage. But Bebop doing work with a judge. He has to be the judge. Judge is in play on the side of the defense. The, the defense is not having it anymore. The judges are out. Oh, wow. But Joker dismisses any judge attempts from Storm. Let's see what very. 
Shotsfield's into the site, hoping to make his mark. Oh, wow. Not prepared for Perchy. It's up to Blank Title to make it happen. Blank Title with what kill? Let's see if he can be massive. He should know where she is. Clear that. Let's go, Blank Title. Yeah, right. Well job. Will he defuse? Yes. No? He has this. Okay. Clutch. Nice. Did you see their faces? Sorry, I should not laugh. <laughs> Switching sides. Okay, so right. that was dominant for the attackers. Uh I'm not sure how I'm not sure they'll make up for this. That's a lot of rounds on the board for um Ace's Arsenal. Yeah, but does this map fancy an attacker versus a um defender? To be totally honest, defense can be really strong on this map. They just need to utilize their smokes, their walls, their, their, their utility. It's just not being used. Yeah. And it allows the attackers to just stroll on in. Nothing is there to prevent them from making... That's just not even good. They get knifed in spawn, so that's a lot of information presented to the defenders as it stands. Again, pistol round is where you make or break to build your economy. Let's see how it's going to unfold. Not sure what's happening on the set of the attackers. Maybe they're trying to sell a fake. Maybe they're buying time. Being patient. But we'll see how they make their advance soon enough. The defense seems sturdy. They're ready. They're waiting. It's most going to play. Gravity well. Huge from Chrome's. <laughs> Holding the site on his own, A. Eh? It finally made headway into the site. But G Savior is massive. The defense is rock solid. Again, it's strongly dependent on Bebop. We're just going to need his best play and. At this point, we're going to have to pray that his team will support his endeavors. Alright, let's see how that goes. Um, happy to see that Skate got at least one kill in. One kill, 11 assists. That's not... No, that's bad. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this one goes. Now, on the side of defense, they're taking it to mid. The defense is, is, is becoming the aggressive. They are the attackers. Mm -hmm. the words can't describe what's unfolding. They're just pushing in and eliminating the, the attack. Pain shells were used, but to no avail. You know, I need to start playing this game. <laughs> I need to get off the Eagle Legends and start playing this game. I, uh... I, I, uh... Yeah, <laughs> these, these guys are having a rough time. I can only hope.
Uh, please be patient with me. I'm having a momentary <laughs> lapse. For whatever strange reason. Oh my word. Is it that this... Hey. How did that hit? <laughs> Ooh. I think I'd use this agent. They are repositioned. Come on, skate, you can do it. Oh! Match point. Alright, so we're on match point here. Um, seems like it's gonna be a win for Aces Arsenal to take them one up in the game, but you know, maybe it's a caster's curse and Beagles can get the win. Let's see. Right, the first game goes to Aces Arsenal. How how you think that first one went, Chini? It was one sided. I I would like to say that it was a valiant effort on the side of um, Beagles, but it, it was really just a steamroll. Mm -hmm. And um, in the future, we'd like to see better use of utility possible you can't just give everything for free there needs to be something to prevent them from just making the site their own without minimal effort with minimal effort yeah definitely all right so let's get the next game started um i think let me check back so this map should be Breeze. And Beagles will defend again. So it's pretty much the same layout as the previous game. The only difference is that we will um we'll take a different map. Alright, um so for people in the chat, I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Um thank you guys for joining. We appreciate you being here. We also want to make mention and also thank our sponsors for their support in our inaugural national esports league. So this is year one. So hopefully we will see a repeat next year. So just look out for that. If you want to support us, you can head over to um Instagram and follow jamaica esports initiative we are also on facebook for persons who use facebook still shinny do you still use facebook <laughs> haven't been there in a minute really, yeah. to be absolutely honest but i think, I think whenever I, um, so many active users there yeah yeah it still is an active community i think whenever i post something on instagram it automatically posts on facebook so i think that's the only way 
activity that goes on for me all right um so waiting on one of the players to get back in and then we'll jump in the game so as you were talking about what um beagles need to do in the next match to you know get back in this game somehow could you repeat for the persons in the back who didn't hear well since the next map's going to be breeze i'm expecting a viper here mm -hmm. and the use of her walls her well smoke air quotes all this needs to be well done to prevent um advances onto the site if they're clear if they're open um angles clear lines of sight then it will it'll be next impossible for um the defenders to prevent them from walking up they'll since it's become a game of mechanics mm -hmm. and on the side of the um on uh, the side of ace is high it's clear that the uh, mechanics are stronger it'll just become a contest of who can get picks first and then the site will be claimed so if that's your issue if you can't match them mechanically you need to halt them with your utility so and then can bring we... it equalize it as much as you can with what you have all right let's see if they take your advice i know they shouldn't be um listening um even though there's a stream delay but let's see if they adapt and take a different approach to the game and then um we see how it goes all right so the teams are ready it seems all right so we're gonna jump into game number two let's see how it goes so aces arsenal is up one they are staying on the attack and beagles is on the defend and shinigami mentioned that she's looking for a viper um let's see here she is yeah that's viper her is... Oh, both of them okay Again, as I said, Viper is very, very strong on this map. All right, you got it, you got it. She can deny a lot, so it's good to see it here. Chamber, mm -hmm. great, awesome. What is she looking to see here? Well, ah, uh, well, I, I, I was wondering if there was going to be another controller on the side of the defenders, but. It seems as if, yeah, it seems as if uh, we're going to have two duelists. So, <laughs> Anchorin is going to be solely dependent on our Viper. Mm -hmm. We're waiting on the attackers to lock their picking. Right. Agent selection finish. So we see the right. Two... Oh. All right, here we go. So Sage Walls mm -hmm. would like to see that being used. I don't know that Sage is a healer, but she has more to offer than just you know healing the team. So slows walls if that can be put into effect. That would be great. Right, let's see if that's what happens this time. So we're looking at the Sage first. Trailing Bebop. My assumption is that they're expecting something to happen early on B-side. Mm -hmm. Hence the Viper is here because, again, she is the primary ankle. Well, let's see where the um, attackers are bolstering themselves to push. It seems like it's going to be an aim push this time around.
easy advance onto onto a side. The wall is there to obscure the line of sight of the defenders. Chamber quickly TPs because he was in a terrible spot. Let's see how he caught out using his trip. Why was a trip being used in that position? There's a battle in mid, but there's not much to be said about that battle in mid. The very early defuse coming from Storm. Interesting. So this time it's um, Eagles that gets the first blood. Or the first win, I should say. Yeah, that's good. It's really great for them. That should set them up to do well in the future. It's going to bolster their economy. They'll have SMGs. That's great. I'm I'm just surprised that at the very end right there, I had three players looking at one player. It was really strange <laughs> to see, but things happen. Is happening indeed. All right, attackers, it's your move. Down. At this point in time, everything is in the favor of the defenders, being that they have SMGs, they should be able to inflict much more damage. But somehow the trade, the kill goes in favor of the attackers. I mean, that was 2v1, so you know. <laughs> See, Joker took the brunt of the damage, and Panic was able to. Early Follow. TP from Chamber. Very afraid. Or being used, plant goes down and they set up in their post plants not much to say yet because right now it's just a waiting game uh. skate uh, gets caught out will very side be aware of this he is and he quickly dispatches him now, Verisite has a lot that he can do. The paint shells being massive. And the defuse coming in, but it was... The Viper's Bite prevented that defuse. Yeah. Good job from Viper. She knew exactly where her um, plant was. That was a great use of utility. Yeah, that reminds me of how I normally see Coco go chase. Like, whenever they play, I think even on this map, she's always on Viper and her role is hide behind a wall. And then as soon as somebody starts to defuse, you drop that Viper. Viper's bite. Um, yeah. I'm expecting lineups, but I don't know if they have anything prepared for us here. It'd be great to see some really strong Viper lineups here. Okay, the advance seems to be towards B this time around. Get I'm happy that here. the um, attackers are mixing it up. Yep. Filling yep. it out. Oh my word. He was caught sleeping there. And B's open. Wide open. Ace's arsenal. Already have the plan, and what it's now just a matter of preventing the retake. Wow, simple, fairly elementary. I see Joker using those Call of Duty skills. All the team Valorant, who would have thought? <laughs> I didn't expect to see it. You probably see Counter Strike in Valorant. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This is game number two. It's a best of three. We have Aces Arsenal up one and Beagles down zero. Um, let's see if they're able to close out this game. 
and then after that we will be bringing you i think four corner versus so monetarily is i they're in a better position and if 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 bigos continues to lose here they're gonna be um in a pretty rough position the trip goes out surprisingly skate doesn't react to the fact that the trip goes off and gets dismissed Last player standing. and it's just no cleanup what can storm do he has ult okay gets one one's a good start let's see if he can add to that they're really aware of him in this scenario like he's most likely playing for exits there's not really much that he can do at this stage in the game. It's the healing. Just play for exits. It's Add to the bank. Done. All right. Well. As I mentioned before, money isn't looking great on the side of the defense. So soon enough, these buys are going to be crippled. Blank title already. Blank title and skate already uh, kind of slim. Standard entry towards B. KO initiates as he does. He heard the TP, so Jerko should be aware of the fact that Chamber is on the site. And they're being demolished in mid. Oh. Watch your eyes. Somehow. Blank title gets one. I'm not sure if the information was relayed to. The jet on the side of the attack that there was a player on site, but it doesn't matter. The plant is down. And now it's just a matter of retaking. The defense gets stopped in its tracks. I need a drop. <clears throat> I must say that um, it's been a while since we posted a Valorant tournament and I'm happy that we got so much um, turnout team players. Well, the wall goes out into mid to cancel any eyes towards B. And it's a B tick again. They have noticed that the B's the B side's super weak and that they can just move up into it. Pain shells. Bebop is doing what he's supposed to right there. But he gets traded quickly. The site's been gifted yet again. And the attackers do what they do best and <laughs> take the site. One enemy remaining. Well, textbook. I wish I could say more, but purely textbook. We're yeah. gonna probably need more from the Viper. On the B site, I don't know if they know any setups, but since he is aware of the fact that the immigration is being shifted towards B, he should prepare for that. Trips being put in place to catch anyone that could be potentially rotating from A.
And Molly doesn't really seem to be useful in that scenario, but it's been put to use. Right here, it'd be great if Storm was aggressive with his ult. He could maybe get a pick, reset. They need to, they need to change something because just waiting for them to walk in doesn't seem to be working anymore. Again, it's just a waiting game and being that the uh, focus has been shifted towards B, they make the call to rotate. Which is the right call. Thirty seconds left. Bebop is doing his best to anchor the A site. Let's see how they'll fare in this scenario. Viper spit being used. Oh, it's a matter of retaking it again. Um, the defenders are slow <laughs> for uh, re-entry, but... Dark Dark exposes Storm. He is lit up like a Christmas tree. Last player standing. <laughs> Oh my word. I have only prayers for Sage. <laughs> What's strange to see is how frequently they die to the bomb. They could have left sight already because they know that the bomb is about to explode. Mm -hmm. No need to stay. Not that it really matters, but you know, that's a little extra money that you can save to go into the next rounds, you know, if you don't need to buy another gun. Alright, Viper Spit being used early. On the side of the defense, that's going to effectively slow their push. And now, Blank Title does well right there to prevent Joker from making, from gaining any ground. Mm -hmm. But he's quickly traded by Perchy. Skate tries to run and gun, but it doesn't work in her favor. Thankfully, she alerts her teammate to the position of Perchy, but it isn't enough to prevent Perchy from dismissing another player. The B-side's an open book, and they're reading it right now. To your stations, everyone. Prepare for the defense. He's behind them. Let's see. Ooh, he sees that. Oh. Perchy <laughs> just playing that One cool, calm, eight. collected. Ooh. He's taking a bad bebop. Alright, bebop. He's the man with the plan. He's the guy that can do it for this squad. He takes out one. Can he take out two? Is it possible? That's two on the board for bebop. But it's too late to defuse. He should be looking for... His mirror. At least take her out of the game. Some cash on the board. Oh, yes. Nice. Well done. That's the that's... best Bebop could do in that scenario. And he hurts a... their economy. Builds his ult. I was saying that's a four piece for him as well. I'm happy that he got four kills. Sadly, he lost the round. <laughs> but, again, builds his economy. Helps him to get close to his ult. They're going to need that Viper Spit soon. 
So he earns points for each kill. Each kill gets you closer to your ult. Can he pick up orbs as well? He can pick up orbs, absolutely. Yeah. Haven't seen many orbs grab. As, as soon as I say that, the Viper on the side of the attacker grabs an orb. That's um, chronic intake. Yeah, grabs the orb. Oh, wow. G I'm not sure how Bebop loses that right there. He was very prepared. Crosshair placement was absolutely perfect, but G Saver takes him out. His finger was sleeping. <laughs> All right. Flash out onto the site. Storm is trying to take ground. But Chamber Alt is being put to good use. It's a great effect. Very sad is using bot to clear site. They sh they should be aware of a player's position because of where the bot tried to push towards. Teleport's ready. With this information, they should quick quickly clear these angles and move on to site. Mm. Well. I said it before and I'll say it again. The defenders don't really seem to have the uh, grunt or ability to prevent the advances onto the site. We're really expecting a lot more from Bebop here. He's doing all that he can, but he's the backbone. We need him to be strong. Shoulders need to be heavy to be able to carry the entire team. Alright, so we have two ults on the side of the defenders. The running back was used. I'm pretty sure I should get some useful intel from that. Viper's bite dis disintegrates the rays. How much that she could do in that scenario? She's already. Caught between a rock and a hard place. And it's now up to our star player on the side of Beagles, Bebop, to make it happen yet again. Can he do it? Will he do it? Will he do it? The dark's it? gonna expose him. Ooh, shot it even before it activated. That's good. Handle it quickly. Oh no, caught. It's caught reloading. Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely been a one-sided matchup, but maybe they'll be able to rally and pull another one out of the hat. We just, we just need them to get another run on the board. They need renewed confidence at this stage in the game. They just need one run to feel as if they can make it happen. So if we can, do. yeah, if we can get one run from the side of. Beagles. This could be the game changer. Richie grabs the orb. Slowly inching himself towards the ultimate. Clearing their standard angles. The um, attacking team pours out quickly onto the side. No defenders anywhere to be seen. Nicely done from Joker. Quickly handles. But the trade, the trade comes in fast. Welcome to my world. Viper's pit. They should be able to halt any move to defuse. Careful now. Watch your eyes. Last player standing. G Savior finds his head fast. Man. And it's just a game of who will see who first. Fortunately, G Saver sees blank title first. Last round in the half.
received word that Sage on the side of the defense is acting as a sub. So we'll just like to give her some um, room, considering that she's doing her best to help in, her, in their time of need. G Savior quickly handles one. And they're pouring into the B side yet again. It's left to very side. What can he do in this scenario? He has his utility. Maybe he'll be able to find an opening with the pain shells. Eleven to one, favoring the attackers. Well, there isn't much to do now. It's 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 up to Aces Arsenal to take it home. Nonetheless, we can hope for. A roan on the side of uh, Beagles. We'd love to see it. We're not counting them out just yet. It's possible. And where there's a will, there's a way. So. Keep your fingers crossed. And hope for the best. Hey, Perchy. Quickly. Handles. Quickly handles the scenario. And G Saver is laying in wait for their advance. This is very ballsy from G Savior. Taking a swing that he shouldn't. Just challenging them with utmost confidence. It seems as if he's just DMing. Bebop can make it plant. Well, he can. And that will help somewhat. It gives them money. But it's... They're, they're in a challenging scenario. Bebop needs to somehow tap every head scene. He's been converged on, so... The likelihood is very slim. He gets one before he passes. Good on him. I'd have just planted it and run. <laughs> well, he could definitely plant for himself and play a post plant position. Mm -hmm. That is a very viable strategy. Well, we're at match point. One more for Aces High, Aces Arsenal. My bad to take it home. Mm -hmm. Already claimed mid control, and um, yeah, the advance seems to be towards the B side. Bebop mm. already dismissing a player from the site, so they should have ample room to make their push. But they're playing playing it fairly patiently. Interesting. And very strong hold. Well, as soon as I say that, Why isn't it? the Viper dies. But good use of the wall. Spike down B. Gun here. It's just become 
a game of aim duels. One enemy remaining. Ten seconds left. All we can say though is that Skate survives the most. Ooh, she gets that yeah. Ooh, one more, one more. One oh, he was oh. trying to knife her. That was disrespectful. <laughs> oh no. That's how it goes. GG's. GG's. Wow. There you have it, people. Game number one. Finish with Aces Arsenal taking it 2 0 over Eagles. Good game. Good games. Um, so now we have Beagles and Climatic Gaming in the losers bracket. And we're going to get set up for um for Connor versus Shinny help me. <laughs> for Connor versus Night Raid, yes. <laughs> so that's what we have right. coming up next. Um let's just show you guys what the current bracket is looking like um an update on the match between climatic gaming and wait that's not what it should look like it should be okay wait let me see if i'm seeing right that don't look right on the screen but it's correct in the ah, okay okay it's it's right it's right it's right then to have one with Jamaicans from diaspora next time. Okay. Um we'll look into that probably. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take a quick break to set up the next game between Four Corner and Night Raid. So stick around, don't go too far. Um watch this video by one of our sponsors and we'll be right back. All right. Okay, look, I've been on a mission to the top, and when I get there, it's gonna go down. Lapping the competition, why they telling us to slow down? Come for it all, no, that ain't enough just to go round. Waking up the sleepers, if you ain't know, ha, well, man, you know now, yeah. I'm not your average guy, we set that bar too high. There's more than monetary differences between you and I. Hey, hey, this the squad that you don't want to meddle with. You know we take it higher, we ain't never settling. Come on, hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. I be on my level. Pull up, pull up. All I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. I be on my level. Hey, we be about to go off. These boys ain't got no sauce. On the winning streak, I promise we ain't taking no loss. We ain't got nothing it coming, you and I. Money keep falling like stars out the sky. Take it easy, hey, they don't believe me. We on another wave, like we ain't hearing what he say. Yeah, they talking trash, you can put it in the garbage. When they know you rap the hardest, you gon' always be a target. Yeah, I put that on my mama. We ain't down for the drama. Keep on adding the commas, the numbers is getting longer. Hey, yeah, I told you, homie, we ain't nothing to metal with. We just broke the knob, going to another level, yeah. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. Pull up, pull up, all I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. 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 Beyond infinity and back again. Uh. 
on to them. Young dog and I talking. All right, guys, we are back with you live. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, as mentioned, we have Night Raid versus Four Corner coming up. So uh, let me just pull back a bit so you guys know what to play. So Climatic Gaming should have played versus Night Raid. Sorry, versus Four Corner. Unfortunately, all of their players didn't turn up in time. So they forfeit that game. So Four Corner got a free pass to the next round and you just saw aces arsenal beat beagles so beagles is in the losers bracket and aces arsenal will play versus the round table in our next match so what we have for you now is night raid versus four corner shinigami's favorite team <laughs> <laughs> this man keep pinning a team on me yeah, I want you to pick a team, man. If you were to support a team in this tournament, which one would you support? I'm supporting Night Raid just because I know Night Raid, but we're we're casters. We can't have a bias. We're not being biased. We're just, you know, saying what we think will be the outcome of the game. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm surprised to see what I'm seeing at the moment. Both teams have coaches, which yeah. is 
unheard of strange to see really yeah um if you have a coach that means that somebody's paying attention to what you're doing wrong and they should be easily able to call your mistakes so this is supposed to be a strong matchup i don't know i can't say what's going to happen as of yet i know that the members of night raid have lots of experience but who knows how practiced the um other team is Mm -hmm. i i I can't really say so it's it's anyone's game at this point right i agree um i'm not used to seeing coaches actually i have seen coaches before all right um sorry side selection sorry guys just multitasking as usual so i know we had a tournament before where we saw some um coaches in it so let's see how it goes all right cool so the first map is ascent i won't mess it up and call it accent again this time um it's a four corner oh night raid <laughs> pit a- ascent and four corner is attacking okay, four corner you know why they call themselves four corner i'd like to know honestly it's a interesting name i'd love to know too <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe maybe each member of the team holds a different well no that would be five corner never mind <laughs> Four corners of Jamaica. Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe we're going to have four teammates holding four different corners. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, so we're just finalizing picks, guys. You know what we didn't add in the chat, Shinny? polls somebody just asked about it can we do polls who's your pick all right is it polar prediction yeah that's the predictions so that they can earn some points um so who will win this one it's night raid versus four corner you know, you should probably ask what you call it. How long what this score should be. That should be a better prediction. Alright, so second well, match. I'd like to see a fairly even match. Back and forth. Yeah. Um... Two good teams. We'd like to see a fairly even match. We don't want it to be a blowout. Okay. Alright, so So, so here it is. So, Night Raid pick accent for Kana will attack. Or will they attack? Let me see. Um, oh, yeah. yeah for Kana attack. And then map to his icebox and for Kana will defend. Pam, 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 paradam, pam, pam. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, there we go. I know the poll's looking fairly biased. <laughs> uh, what are they saying? Night raid all the way? Well, well it's, it's in the fear of night raid at the moment. But... Wow. What Man. if they lose their points? You know what we should do? Uh, guys, we have a lot of domino vouchers left to give away, so we're going to pick a winner right now and then we're going to start the raffle again. So, we have 13 persons in the raffle and I'm closing the entries now. Boom. And I'm picking the winner now. Boom. And the winner is YG Mike. Pick up yourself. You're earning yourself a domino. Um, pizza vulture 
Boom. All Let's right. go. That's a free pizza. That's a free pizza. And we're going to start it again right away. So YG Mike, you won. You can't win again. So we can still enter a raffle, you know? <laughs> All right. So remember exclamation mark raffle. There's a two minute delay on the stream. So in two minutes they'll hear who are what the uh whatchamacallit. In two minutes they see who won the first voucher. But anyways, we are about to get the next match started. Um yeah, we're going to get the match started. They said they are ready. Have one person left. But anyways, let's just take a moment to yes, Josh is on night raid. Um, I don't know all the players on night raid. I know Josh, Daddy Omen is Mickey. She changed her name from Coco Goat. Which didn't you prefer Coco Goat over Daddy Omen? <laughs> Listen, we'll never know why people do what they do, but they do it. Would you change your name from Shinigami? Probably to Shinny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my in-game name is actually Dexley Avenger, but on stream, when I'm posting, I'm sexy Dexley. <laughs> Listen, man, you have that. That's all you. I'm happy that you can own it. <laughs> all right, so they are ready. We are going to get into the... Um, Agent selection. We have four corner versus night raid. I think I have the label in Kaiku, so I'll fix that up. Because the I mean it doesn't matter where it starts though. Alright, we have arena. I'd love to see it. Well, we don't have arena. <laughs> I was excited for nothing. Alright, so everyone is locked on no oh yeah i know josh has been playing a lot of um what that guy named with the glasses chamber yes my bad <laughs> but before that he was on the one with the bone arrow chamber is a very solid pick you can't go wrong like he can get in get out mm -hmm. well he has a free reposition so The man's just all around strong. What so, can I say? You think Daddy Omen is going to pick Omen? Very unlikely. Ooh. And never mind. <laughs> it's Omen. <laughs> I thought that she was leaning towards Astra. Yeah. I Select your agent. Alright, good. All uh, locked in. No? Two or five locked in. If they don't lock Very in. Very interesting. So. There's a lot to look forward to. Um, I can't wait to see the Rolling Thunder that uh, Breach's ult mm -hmm. being put to use. That literally has the entire site consumed by one ult. So wow. there are going to be some interesting pushes that will come from that. Um, knowing Mickey, she's going to do something cheeky with her smokes. Just prepare to see it. She's probably going to smoke some height. And TP into her smoke and wait for someone to walk by. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Josh, he's definitely gonna definitely gonna be on the op. He is known for his confidence when it comes to sniping. So I can imagine that he'll be playing really odd angles, taking picks where he can, repositioning, making it work. Alright, here we go. Game number one. Oh, there's a dance off here. <laughs> Alright, everyone checking out this. Who's this? Reyna? Alright. Alright. So no I am I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Forcona. I've never seen them play before and I just I just hope that they bring it. That they do something that will blow us right out of our, our chairs 
right? Ooh, I get to follow this arrow. Come on. It's F to follow projectile if you want to test it out here. Yeah? Right here. Missed it. Oh, you did? Come on, projectile. So, it seems like we're in a pause. Why? 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 I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Maybe yeah, they're yeah. waiting on a player to get back in. Arena might be AFK. Okay, we're back. Yeah, okay, we're all good now. All right, cool. All right, ball's rolling. Mm -hmm. And we have Forkhan on the attack. <laughs> Chamber there waiting for some opening pick, but he quickly resets himself. A weird exchange in the smoke. They seem to be jumbled on each other, not really clear as to what they want to do or where they want to be. They're aware of the KO being there, and somehow KO finds a pick. Ooh. He's quickly handled. Trade comes in. The back and forth it's happening right now. Shazzy takes one. Oh, Shazzy takes two. Spike down, B. Spikes in mid. The attackers need to regain the spike and make a move. All right, Millie isn't looking too hot here, but maybe he'll be able to find what he needs when he needs it. Slight health deficit. Standing. Millie is in a tough situation here. One versus two. With not much help to be had. Tries to challenge, but in this scenario, it's... <laughs> oh no, the disrespect. Josh decides to knife Millie. Isn't, isn't that a try to Early go? days. <laughs> the BM is coming out oh, right away. This is exciting. So in chat, um, the I Millie said don't do that, and the other guy said had no bullets. <laughs> in all fairness, if you have nothing in the chamber, me that? as well, right? I don't believe that. <laughs> oh, anything's possible. You have to get into your opponent's head, <laughs> and if if it works, it works. <laughs> Millie should know better. He shouldn't be shaken Ooh. by it. Standard, uh. Spray angle for um, boats and cats. You can just spray right at the tail and shoot right through the door. If anyone's making a push right there, it'll completely destroy them. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. They run towards the defenders. That was so quick. How long was that round? I'm not entirely sure what they were doing in mid. They seem to be setting up for a push. They were probably also waiting for the defenders to get aggressive since nothing's happened for quite some time. Pulling them out, maybe picking one or two and then rotating. Viable strat. But Boots and Cats right. will be going for the spray yet again. That will definitely prevent anyone from making an advance. But the fight's been brought to be two already down on the side of the defenders Millie waiting patiently was that, as I said before as I said before not afraid to push the smoke but they had a feel and they waited no it's to just make their push onto the site with the wall being used, it's easy to take groan. Now it's just a matter of time. The plant needs to go down quickly. And they're going to play post plants if possible, but that's quickly denied by a shot dart. It's 
Slater moving towards the flank. Good on Slater. Finds one. Molly's the bomb to get Boots and Cats off. Really well played. But he fails to clean up and get the kill. All in all, that was a great idea. Just poorly executed. Alright, leading 3 0. Slaughter has his ult, so does Slater. Interesting names. Shazzy. You think Shazzy will go ham with the arm? Um... Where is Shazzy? Okay. Oh. The um, economy is looking pretty decent so far for both teams. Each team will be into their ults soon. Into ults, rather. Ooh. It's more favorable towards uh, for Kana, but. Right. The running back was used to get some information. Slater should know what's around him. Good exchange from Slater to dismiss someone from mid quickly. That gives them the room that they need to play. I see that on the side of Four, Con Four Corner. They're very patient. They're willing to allow the um, defenders to make mistakes. We've caught them taking peeks as is already. And this is working to their advantage. So the rotate happens towards A side. Staggered push. Really strange. Spike down B. It's all in the back of Slater. Rain is slow. To the fight and they took multiple 1v1s oh my goodness so blind that she could not even react looks like they were also blinded with that one as well <laughs> you think this will right end there 13-0 who knows they don't seem terrible um for Kana. they 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 just Right there, my biggest problem was the separated push. Mm -hmm. Everybody went in one at a time, or two at a time, and they just, you know, didn't flood the site. Ideally, that's what you want to do when you have numbers. You flood the site, and you make it difficult for the team to just quickly uh, dispatch you. They should be able to get trades back and forth with multiple players moving in. So yet again, as I said before, the defenders aren't afraid to move up and take ground. They'll be aggressive. But the attackers are also aware of that. And they've caught people out before. But this time, Tanji is the one that catches somebody. With this in mind, the attackers are trying to make their move. Josh eliminates Slater. Oh my, the uh, knife doesn't go where intended, but still, somehow, Tanji finds someone. Mm -hmm. Good run for the defenders. So, I hope that you're noticing the difference between playstyles here. Uh, so far, four con of. They're very patient. They're, they're willing to allow things to happen. They're willing to wait for the defenders to make mistakes. But at the same time, if you're too passive, they'll take too much ground and you won't be able to execute as well as you'd like to. Exactly. All right, boots and cat. But he was going to pepper that hole again. <laughs> Well, this seems to be a save on the side of um, Furcano. 
They really don't have much to lose here besides a few SMGs. So Night Raid is expected to clean this one up fairly easily. Any kills gained by uh, Furcon in this round just adds to bolster their um, economy. Ooh. Oh, eco frags as expected. Night Raid cleans that up and they go next. Uh, this should allow for Connor to be on a Byron. They have alts, the alt economy is looking great, so we should start seeing alts being put into use. Ooh. You want to play? Let's play. Wait, took some damage from that spray. He probably wasn't expecting it, but he's gonna use the running back, run it back to get some info. Quickly denied any info by Josh. Wow. But with that, they know that B is not an easy take. With this information, they should be able to advance slowly towards B, but they get denied at mid. Slater is in a predicament. I mean, he needs assistance from his chamber if he's going to make this possible. Wow, he still got Thankfully, that. Thankfully, Millie found one with his ult. But Josh defeats his counterpart, leaving no room for him to assist his man. Good hmm. try by Slater, but Boots and Cat. Boots and cats is ready for that one. But shouldn't you expect them to be, you know, double, double whatever? Double push? What now? <laughs> oh, like well, um, like ideally, ideally, ideally. Yeah, it'd be great if they could play play that together. But no, what I meant is, Josh came around and he took out Josh, and then he looked He's away gone. instead of expecting both of them to push from the same side. Well, you don't necessarily want to do that. You could just split the site, mm -hmm. time it well, and push from each side. So if Josh dies, he instantly trades, mm -hmm. ideally. So one pushes from the left, one pushes from the right. And if they have good timing, you know, as soon as Josh dies, he trades the kill. Or as you said, they could double peek and again, there could be a quick trade there. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for, double peek. Oh wow. That's just putting his knives to use. But gets denied anything fertile. And she seems to have a lineup. One enemy remaining. Let's why he Daddy oh will not speak of the lineup. With the four piece. Moves into third place on the leaderboard. Let's go. Coco Goat. AKA Mickey. <laughs> well, around, they're, they're very strong. They're, at the moment, the, the, the only gap in their defense has been filled. Their um, aggression that would be punished is no longer being. I'm not sure how Furkana intends to make headway now. Oh, wow. Josh, Boots and Cat, strong players defending their side. Punch with a massive flash, finding more than he expected to. Hmm. 
Again, let's let's see what's happening here. So, Night Raid has a lot of ults. Two, three ults on the board. But the need to use certain things hasn't presented itself. Pretty sure that spray that's been done at B. They should be mentally prepared for that. They shouldn't just walk into that ever again. Lop on a pick onto Shazzy, which is great for this squad. But it's quickly traded. Rolling Thunder, but they don't make a move onto the site. They're selling a fake. Well, they're definitely revealed. It's very clear that they're in mid. So... You are divided. No, it's just a question if they're be, they'll be able to take all of this. Cosmic Divide? Slowing the push off the defense. Wow. Now we play post plants in preparation for the defense Ooh. of Night Raid. Clean round. Nice. I think the next um, Valorant tournament I want to do is like a long series of tournaments where the same teams they play for probably a two month <clears throat> or one month, two days every weekend. Should give them a lot more practice. Mm -hmm. Getting yeah, them more accustomed to this type of event. Yep. The ability to adjust, to learn, to adapt. I said it things. before, I'll say it again. I knew that Mick would be playing in her smokes. And it's evident. That she knows how to utilize all the uh, things in her bag of tricks. Uses her ult for info, which is great. Mm -hmm. You can tell where players are. Bomb goes down. It's now time for the defense to make their play. Chazzy opts to drop the orb. To allow him to move a lot more effectively. Yeah. Yeah, finds finally. two, finds three. Last round before the switch. Well, at least it's no longer a flawless game. Solid defense. This is what they needed. This is this is what will allow them to gain momentum. Maybe this is the comeback right here. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I just go where the trade wind blows. Right, Korea opens up with a flash. But I think he's just stalling, waiting, biding his time for his mates to rally amongst him. Josh finds one though. Finds one in that mess. It's 
Slater has to be patient here. He knows that there are multiple players in mid, but he gets sprayed through the smoke. Nothing he could do about that one. Fairly unexpected. Most likely, the tracers from the Vandal left them exposed. Spike down mid. The attack has been shut down and... They're not able to claim any ground. Interestingly enough, Tanji kills himself so that he can be revived after using his null sector. He killed himself to be revived by what? <laughs> so he uses ult. Okay. And he stepped into his molly, died, and he got a res. Okay. Ideally, he comes back with more HP. Oh, interesting. I really need to start playing this game. <laughs> That's a good spot. So, you've seen it. The uh, level of play coming from Night Raid. It seems to be uncontestable. This pistol already going in the favor of, uh, well, it's even at the moment. Chazzy is looking worse for wear, but if they clear their corners, they should know where Millie is. <gasps> Millie dies on sight, doesn't even touch Chazzy. Defense isn't in the best position what? possible, and somehow Shazzy makes that happen with little to no HP. 3 HP and able to pick up 4 kills? Wow! For guys, Shazzy knows no fear. Like one shot of any bullet would have taken him out. I hey, thought that somebody would be coming to... from market, <laughs> but... They were both in the same position with really low health, so... The spoils go to the victor in that scenario. Check something. Three HP and able well, to pick up four kills. in this case, the spoils go to the aggressors. Wow. Okay. For guys. All right, that's big info. That dart did well to let them know that he's there. Quick trade by Tanji to dismiss Slater. Shazzy is on another level though. It's a one versus four. Breach is really in a tough scenario. He has utility. He can use this to make something happen, but... There isn't much room for him to pull anything off. So I said this is game on already. It's looking like it. He shouldn't be hesitant. He should just use what he has in his kit. <laughs> ah, they knifed him. <laughs> Holly, gosh, she. The disrespect. The wow. knife comes out. GG. GG. Solid showing from Night Raid. Alright, that was game one. well done there um night raid took the first game and we're gonna set up for the next match like right that was nice um so yeah the next map is icebox i got an icebox where my heart used to be right, we love icebox here <laughs> we're looking forward to the aim duels on icebox Favorite map. Wow, they're already ready. Should we just jump in? That's what we like to see. Let's get these games on the way. Alright, let's go.
Alright, so what are we looking for here? You think there'll be change of agents? Well, Viper is still really good on this map. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, Viper is pretty decent on this map, so I'm expecting to see a Viper. Um, Josh could very well run who he's currently on. Spark? Is that her name? Neon. Neon. Okay, Neon Spark. <laughs> yeah. He could very well run Neon. Jed, well, let's stay on this map. Be nice, you know, there are a lot of aim duels. Chambers mm -hmm. get on this map. Uh, the uh, Sage pick is a good one. Walls. Walls can be used to great effect on this map. I think Daddy Omen is still gonna pick Omen. But let's see. I think this is the map that she... No, this isn't the map. <laughs> surprise, surprise! That we have Daddy Omen on the jet. Nah, she's not playing jet. She's either gonna go Daddy Omen... The jet's Viper. already locked in. Oh, wow. Okay, my bad. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and here's and the Viper that I was talking there's no, about. There's no, there's no unlocking? You're locked in, bro. That's okay. it. Okay. So, yeah. Viper on both sides. Expected. You know, walls. Viper's ball. Viper's pit. There's so much utility that she offers that can be put into, well, great use on this map. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see what can happen for Four Corner here. Maybe, maybe, on a previous map they weren't, you know, seasoned practice. All this. Maybe Icebox is where their redemption comes. Maybe they're duelists. You know, they're just better at aiming. Taking fights, playing their angles. Need a drop. Thanks. What? Oh. Yeah. They're on the wrong side. Okay. Have to restart. Ding, ding, ding. Alright guys, quick reset there. Ding, 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 ding. Should be same picks, just a difference in terms of sides. Oh yeah, yeah, they did say different. Captain Planet is <laughs> okay, waiting on um daddy omen did slaughter leave the game yet um you should be able can't you restart just the same? Well, it's a play and after this. Uh, mm -hmm. You should be good now. Oh, so I'd say he's in game still. I don't know about that. Right, here we go. Alright, I locked in. Wait, where is Korea? Patiently. Oh, we're patiently awaiting his pick. 
Come on. Come on. I don't know if Boots and Cats knows any interest in Sova lineups. He's at... What okay. manner of information will he be able to relate to his team? We'll find out. On the next episode of... <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, I actually figured out to do the replay. I might try it in one of the games. If that works. Right. Uh, Time so for the game. real game to get on the way. As I said before, maybe, maybe the previous match previous map wasn't in favor of four corner but this might be their game right Ooh, here I like this so map. sorry you can do let's... that before bad phase is over let's see what's gonna happen you can shoot out stuff before the round starts yeah you can prep stuff All right, Josh is moving speedy, already using his flashes, clearing his angles. Josh is one to watch right now, but he gets dismissed. But it's in the favor of Nairid, and they take that roam. That's so quick. Oh, that was a pistol. Now that they have this additional cash, they're going to buy SMGs and let's see how they fare. If um, Burkana is able to actually win this round, it'd be great for them. But most likely it's going to go towards Night Raid, being that they have better weaponry. Pouring into sight. And two are claimed in the exchange. Chamber received critical information right there. Knowing that someone's going for a flank, he passes that information along to his teammates and is patiently awaiting said flank. Even while flash, Josh should make sure that he gains no ground. A well, simple and clean roam. Alright, so guns should be on the table soon enough. That's a good spot. Yep. We have guns. First gun roam. For four Connell. Or he's trying to spot mid, but there's a wall to interrupt his line of sight. Or the attackers are pouring in at such an amazing rate that they can't slow this push. Spikes down, and there's nothing left to be said. Slaughter is left in a position where he needs to do so much more. Sadly, he denied the opportunity. Yeah. 
Eyes looking rough on uh, for Connor. The economy isn't the best, and uh, the momentum that Night Raid has is definitely exerting pressure on them. Crown is quickly came. Bomb is being planted. There's really not much left to do. Good use of the Viper's bite, but Shaz is already ready to reposition. Now we patiently await the retake from the defenders. They need to find openings wherever they can. But they seem to be pouring in from the same angle. Each player taking and each player taking their own duel. Definitely not ideal if they want to take that one home. Viper's pit has been used. This should deny lots of space. Rolling Thunder. This should give them ample time to make groan. That's a bold move from Korea. Tempting to stick the plant. Well, the diffuse. You think sniper is a good pick on this map? Yeah, there are a lot of angles that you can hold and snipe. But when you have to push, isn't it harder to push with a sniper? Well, it depends on how good of a player you are. You can make it work depending See? on your skill level. In some scenarios, it's definitely easier to rifle, but based on your skill set, you can actually make good on what you have. But you can tell that Night Raid is moving as a unit. They quickly move on to site and clear angles, claim all is grown, and then it's just a waiting game. Wow. One enemy remaining. Josh gets eliminated in, in a mean manner. Unexpected. Surprisingly, Slaughter is doing more than he should. Slaughter finds two. Can Slaughter do more? Unfortunately, he can't. That works. Six rounds up, night raid. With this level of uh, consistency and with all this momentum, it's going to be difficult for uh, for Connor to make an impact. Chazzy was definitely supposed to die there, but we have the neon ult being put into use. That being in play, 
they're definitely going to be a lot more hesitant to walk onto site. Law, find someone. No, it's just a matter of getting into the side and clearing those angles, getting those kills. Later. Was denied by the judge. Joshua the judge is going to be a literal wall to get past. How did she not die there? She was just out of the range. I'm out of here. Fast enough. <laughs> she, can, she can go really fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, basically Sonic. <laughs> I'm out of here. Gotta go. Ice being put into use, but it's a jet v jet duelin. Daddy Omen takes it. Daddy Omen is going off on the main stage. Three kills on the board. Go, go, go. Slotto being slippery. Finds two. Last player standing. One enemy wow. Where duel, but he finds the head. Five her spit to prevent any further advances. He has the bomb with him. This is his round to win. Leaves the Viper's Pit. So at the moment, we're very sure that Tanji is lost searching around for him, but still manages to get the kill. Really good play leaving the ult because you would assume he's still inside that. And you have to clear it to grab the bomb. Here. But why go back in there though? <laughs> Not only that. Right there, it was just, it's just a matter of mechanics. That was supposed to be an easy kill for um, Slaughter, but he doesn't manage to secure the dub in that scenario. Because he caught Tanji out. Mm -hmm. You want to play? Let's play. Lots are doing much. In a scenario where little was expected. But it's e quickly equalized. And it's three versus two. One enemy remaining. Who will take it? Spike down A. Kuro advances, it's now up to sh There's a lot on the line right there, Annie. There's a lot on the line and Furkana made it happen. They couldn't allow them to keep on just rolling by. That train had to be decommissioned. Josh finds an early one. But things are quickly tilted in the favor of Nyraid. Now it's a game of patience. Josh is eliminated. They should be able to find everyone here. Slater fails to hit. Interesting angle from Slater. But he's in a very difficult position. He finds Tanji. 
fuck gets caught reloading in front of boots and cats. Not a mistake that you're supposed to be making at this level. I'm out of here. Hey, Daddy Omen leading this the kill score. Alright, so it's one to nine in favor of the night raiders or night raid. What do you think? Is there anything that um Cortana can do to get back from this? The only thing I can uh hope that they do better is team play. Their mechanics aren't terrible, but they don't really do things in unison. To the level that night raid does mm -hmm. whenever they make a play they tend to be very tight-knit but this rounds one enemy remaining okay well boots and cats plants while oh <laughs> yeah uh... as i was saying um it's just how coordinated uh night raid is that's really hard to defeat because they're one. They're together when they're pushing the site. Mm -hmm. um, they take ground quickly after claiming the site. It's very difficult for the defense to retake because somebody's already holding whatever angle that they're supposed to be able to find something at. Revealing area. Again, they just flow into A as if. Interesting, interesting play from the defenders. They're all five trying to flank A. The Rolling Thunder catches someone out. A kill's awarded from that. Tanji somehow holding down for the squad. Tanji finds three. But well, Melee quickly puts Tanji to pasture. Time Doesn't left. matter though. Time Nairi takes control. the room. <laughs> go, go, go. Very interesting play. From the defenders. That flank as five wasn't expected, honestly. If that went a little bit off, we can see Shazzy vibing out with his gun. The Zed classic. Here we are for a second pistol round. We have uh, Furcon on the side of the attackers trying to potentially make something happen here. It's looking slim, but they need this. If they can take this pistol, then they can snowball. First thing, then. Oh, that's hard to call, but. One thing that's for sure is that there. You're in a very uh claustrophobic position. Well, it's a one v three. And Millie couldn't really make anything happen there. No today, There's another 13 3. Match point. 
it's going to be difficult for um for Connor to win this round. Usually, this is a round that you concede if you don't win your pistol. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, they're going to have better equipment, so it's going to be difficult for Four Connor to counter that. They'll be on pistols. Unless they force. Will they force? Yes. They will force. So even if they win the next round, they're going to be going in with limited One enemy remaining. economy. Five and eight. it doesn't even matter. Forkana takes the... Well, Night Raid takes the game. GG. GG to Night Raid. Is that what the young man say nowadays? GG too easy? Well, I'm not young, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so that was... um. Game number two of the night, Night Raid X winning both games 13 to 1, showing their dominance and why they have won so many of the tournaments. So we're gonna get the other teams ready for you, and then we will be right back into the tournament. So stick around, don't go nowhere. Shinigami enjoying himself. We're enjoying the gameplay. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So it will take another quick break. Get the other teams ready, and then we will be right back. So, stick around. Beyond infinity and back again. Come to them. Young dog and attacking. You know? You know I see me shine. Don't vex when you get my way. Me now make trouble, stress my brain. Cut checks, me I cut to the chase.
ready. All right, guys. Uh, you just saw Night Raid dominate the competition, making light work of four corner. Um, so we're getting Aces Arsenal and um, ah uh, crap, Aces Arsenal and the round table up next. So those are the team that um we'll be playing next again it's a uh, best of three so first team to win two takes the win and move on in the bracket and um the loser goes down into the loser's bracket so as you should have seen on the brackets a while ago we have climatic gaming and beagles as well as four corner in the loser's bracket um, Four Corner is going to play Beagles off stream to determine if they make it into the semi finals for tomorrow. And then Climatic Gaming will play whoever loses between Aces Arsenal and the round table. Alright, so we're getting most of the people in. <clears throat> um, we're going to have the Maps pick and ban done in the meantime to kind of speed up things. So, Shini, any predictions on this one? You saw Aces Arsenal play earlier versus. Yeah, um, and being that they're member Secret Service on the round table, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say this one's going towards the round table because I've seen them Aces Arsenal play mm -hmm. and. um. They're decent competitors, but from what I can recall, mechanically, the members of Secret Service were really strong. Yeah, It's really a toss-up, though, because I don't know who else is on that team. It's going to be hard to predict when I don't have all the information I need to make the call. But uh, I would say so far that I'm going to lean with the previous... Well, you know, their name is no longer the Secret Service, but now the round table. But I'm going to lean to that side for now. All right. But I'm not going to leave um, Aces Arsenal out of the picture. It's very likely that it'll do something that I am not prepared for. All right. So we did do a scrims Wednesday night. Aces Arsenal versus the round table. And it was a whooping. <laughs> Huh. Um so yeah, you know, they might have been holding back their strategies, not showing exactly what they are made of. I mean it is a scrim, so they probably don't want to reveal their best cards during the scrim. All right. So that's what took place. Um one second. Mm -hmm. Where are you again? Checking the brackets. Yes. <clears throat> Alright, so the first ban is Breeze for the map. Okay. No one wants to be asked to do it, Breeze. This Breeze is a Breeze map. Who did you say? I said no one wants to be asked to do it, Breeze. So, you know. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, I need to get that song out my head. All right, so <laughs> Breeze and Faccha out. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's get the predictions on stream as well for this one. Yeah, let's see who's who's bet. 
<laughs> I was worried to say who's who's bet. Uh, they probably just lean towards who they have seen before, which is um the round table. Like I want these teams to stick together, I know. Like I wish I wish we could host a tournament where we can pay out everybody. That incentivize them to mm -hmm. keep practicing as a group. All right. Mm -mm -mm. So we bind the band. Okay, so the pick is bind, and TRR. I'm gonna chart them as TRR. The round table and AA for eight. Is Arsenal definitely a lot easier to call? Yeah, <laughs> A A N T R R T R the round table T R T the round table T R T yes my bad yeah T R T <laughs> all right and map two. Even all right, and home team. Mm -mm 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 -mm. E R R. Defense. Okay. Well, there we have it. They pick sandbands for the map done. And you ready? Let's see. If they're ready, we're ready. Yes, sir. Oh wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> so I'm calling them T R R and A A. No. As I can't spell it out. This is Arsenal versus A -A and TRT. TRT. <laughs> ah, I did check yesterday and it can hold all of them. So here we go. Um, scores. What else? All right, here we go. We are ready to begin. That is. Vid, who is vid? Okay, cool. Starting now. All right, so here we go, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Did I mess up the um? My bad. Can they back out? Not right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I messed up the map. Um, it shouldn't have gone my fault. <laughs> Um, pam, 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 pam. So, and like I have the information here, and then I still messed it up. Mm -mm -mm. Choose your agent. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So they're just gonna run it down. 
and then we back out sorry about that guys it's Shinigami's fault <laughs> Oh wait, so how come I didn't start? What happened? Someone didn't pick, so... Ah, oh, okay. Change okay. the map. <laughs> Alright. Ready now? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, both of them ready. So, bind. Virginia. And let's go. Boom. Shakalaka. Wait, I'm, oh wait, I did turn on my volume. I was wondering why I wasn't hearing much. Alright, there we go. Hey, we're we're going to go into these bands and picks. Uh defenders. Do I have do I have that card? As of now, they're just hovering. No one actually decides on anything, but yeah, so far, a typical play on this map. Grim's good pick. Kind of strange seeing a Yoru. Wasn't expecting that, but could be used to great effect. Raze, commonly picked on this map also. Interesting to see this Yoru pick. How oh, will guys. Yoru play here? Cause uh, <laughs> I rarely see him in competitive play. Well, he's no good. Select your agent. He's he's a uh, case dependent. That's the best way to put it. Oh, oh yeah, messed up. It. Like you know, I keep. I keep thinking defenders are on the right. And they're on the left. So silly. <laughs> Alright, I'll fix that shot. <clears throat> Alright, well, we've already seen AA do their thing. I've yet to see TRT make any efforts, so I'm excited for this one. I really want to know if the previous Secret Service still has what they used to. All right, let's see how this one goes. Who is this guy? With the... All right, well, Reeks is this going to set up for an attack towards the uh, A site. Mm. Walks in. Great smokes to cut off line of sight. Very standard. <laughs> Finds one with a shock dart, some surprisingly. Silver at work. Remy with the uh I'm not gonna finish that, but you know, running it down, clearing his angles. Ooh. Now it's just a name duel. Rix is a solid contender right now. It's just Chamber being held at bay. First round goes to TRT. Right. So they ended he kills to five. Hmm. First, it goes for the up. Is it the operator? No. 
but I know Ops didn't play oh, quite yet. Yeah. Well, the buy is looking interesting on uh, the side of uh, TRT, it, which is to be expected. They have a lot more money to spread around. Now to just break into the side and do what you do best, slay. Time to jump. The defenders are being held at bay. Molly placement is just stalling any effort made. Oh, wow. Percy steps out of the smoke, but he wasn't prepared to see two. Riggs takes it home. Basically, Reeks was just saying, now that's my smoke. I can step into it. <laughs> I own this. Well, the momentum is currently in favor of tier T. And um, I'm, I'm expecting so much from um, AA on their first gun round. G Savior finding two. Chronic intake with another, yes. As expected, they stabilize on their gun round. Wow. Good job, AA. Couldn't allow TRT to just run away with it. I didn't expect that flawless, though. But yeah, gun roll. They have what they need to prevent the insane pushes that TRT has been pulling off so far. That dart fails to give them the information they need. They're going to walk into this sadly. And he's ready! Oh my goodness, he fails to get the three spray though. But the information has been relayed and they should be prepared to make do with the information provided. Perchy does a lot there. More than he should have been able to. Spike planted. Strong defense so far. But it's no even. Her she just sprays and prays. <laughs> but somehow finds it. Alright. This is a totally different Aces Arsenal from what was in the scrims earlier this week. I'm saying, man, they kept their best stuff in the bag. A lot more aggressive. A lot more accurate with their shots. You know, they probably gave um, Aces Arsenal fouls hope. Our falls sense of hey listen they, they, they had a warm-up before this they played so they're good now yeah yeah i think they're probably cold absolutely i love that play from chrome's earlier with the flash Who's next but you're always going around on the prowl he should let them know what's up Rose finds two. They keep walking into him as if he's not going to be able to respond to it. No, the retake is on the way. Can the defenders make their way in? Yoru? Surprisingly, Zuzzy takes that. Defenders are a deficit, but it's still plausible. Nonetheless, nonetheless, 
TRT takes nice. that one. I like this back and forth that we're having. Yeah, this is a lot more interesting. It's not as straight. Oh, it's a lot, though. Mm -hmm. They're putting up a fight. Putting up a resistance. Absolutely. All right, so we have three ults available on TRT and two. All right, let's see. You want to play? Let's yes. Play. AA will come into ult soon. Two players really close. So if somebody grabs this orb later, then it could be. Oh, big info. Um, let's see what the brim ult does. Wow. Doesn't really get anything. But somehow Brim still finds a kill in all that. Uh, spray is exchanged and unfortunately the one who dies right there is the one at the suppressed weapon. Brooms. Making his name known. Establishing dominance. Typically good for two. Flashes in. Finds no one. Wow. Rick was more prepared than he. Oh my word, I missed that one. No one else could do this. One enemy Risky maneuvers from Perchy. But Joker has it. Joker held it so that he could defuse. Oh, almost. Wait. Uh, a little too late. <laughs> yeah, Joker should have covered team for. Wait. Somebody should have covered a lot earlier so that he could have started the defuse. Or probably oh. if he had continued the defuse. Ah, you know what? Whatever it time. is. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You're you're making a point. Like time was up off the essence there, and mm -hmm. they didn't make the best use of it. Honestly, I think that defuse was possible if Perchy stuck it all the way. Mm -hmm. Gets it to the halfway point. But I I feel like. He was worried that he would die there, so he hopped off. Mm -hmm. He should have complete faith in his teammate, knowing that his teammate will be able to prevent them from moving up. Or they should have been a lot more aggressive and... But yeah, these Yoru uh, fix tend to catch him out. They're not prepared for the Yoru fix. Joker finds two and then renders his life useless. But it's all good. Valiant effort, great trade. Launching smoke. Bromes is in a predicament at the moment. Living on a prayer. Planted. Hoping to get something done. Gonna use the knife to check to see if anyone's close. Gives him the info that he needs to make his play. The attackers are in great post-plant positions. But the Viper spits there. They might have to make a move really fast. The defuse is very possible. Fortunately, Silva had his ult, so he denied the defuse. Another ult! Grim ult denies the defuse yet again. Ult's been used back, left, right, center, wherever you want to call him from. Very good use of it, too. All right. All right, so it seems as if um, TRT has gained some momentum now. What do you think Ace's Arsenal need to do? Be more aggressive? Well They'll just have to feel them out, see how they play, and then respond appropriately. They keep challenging um the uh, KO on on long, be long. They keep challenging the KO here, and the KO is always prepared for this. But this time, fortunately for them, he isn't holding this position. No value from the showstopper, which is. A massive L in this scenario. That that pick would, you know, give them the room that they need to play. That's a good, spot. good use of the mullet to prevent 
anyone from moving up? <laughs> no, I gave him more time. Just wildly spraying through the wall. Somehow he finds one as soon as the wall drops. Mm. And the attacker's witness drone, which <laughs> is crazy to believe. Hershey was not supposed to be caught out there. He was supposed to be battled in on that position, knowing that they've been spraying from right there, knowing that the drone came from right there. He has the information he needs, but somehow still loses that one. Not fast enough on the trigger. <laughs> happens. Sometimes, you know, there's a brief moment of delay. Your brain's just not there. Big arrow for Sobo. Let's him know that this guy is trying to make an aggressive play into showers. Saw that coming. Prevents her from doing anything, really. Honestly, you should respect the Sova Dart. Very bold maneuvers. Alright, attackers claiming ground on the B side. Elba held. They're making their way, their way through CT. There's a lot of ground covered. Percy's just trying to stay alive and keep his gun. Oh. Unfortunately, he gets caught. I was a bit hesitant on that um, headshot too. We're going in aggressively. Reyes uses her satchels to take grown fast. And they're already on site. The Sovalt's going to deny the plant. But not for too long. These smokes are in a perfect position to deny any sight of the defenders. Oh, why? That's an easy round for the attackers. The attackers are gonna make that long play yet again. Hopefully, they're prepared for the KO flash. Can't use that. Doesn't seem to be utilized this time around. This time they ignore the Yoru fake. As soon as I say that, they shoot it. Surprisingly. And they take sight fairly easily. No contest, really. Wait, this is a very strange strategy. They're wrapping around. They're going to plan A instead. The B site was just a fake. It was a cell. No, they are all being funneled in from CT. They have the information. They know where they are. This should be an easy hold. A 
Really well mm. done for Vid. Vid with an ace. Five kills on the man. Last round before the switch. The Yoru pick coming out strong. Who would have expected it? Oh, the momentum has definitely shifted. It's gonna, it's gonna take a miracle at this point for uh, the lads on the defense to make Why something this... happen. Vid tries a little too much yet again. Vid fell. Vid, Vid was feeling after his ace, but nonetheless, nevertheless, they're on the side. The side's theirs. Smoke. Chamber on TRT is in a premium position to cat someone out. Will Perch be prepared for this one? That if not sexy has anything to do with it. <laughs> Very unlikely that Perch is going to be mentally prepared for this one. Wow. That's nah, called. It is. You just don't expect someone to be there unless you have the experience. Mm -hmm. And even if he did look up there and kill him, the trade would come from Hookah, so... I guess his best bet was going long. I mean, going through elbow. Well, there's not much left to write on this page. Uh, we're just holding on. Well, they're just holding on, really. Let's see what AA can pull off here. They really need to take this pistol if they hope to swing the momentum in their favor. Kill it in favor of AA, which is great, but it's quickly traded. Any value from it has been denied. It's just a game of patience. They're just a lot of space denied by that Viper's Bite, forcing them away from Lamp. Kills going back and forth. Fairly even board. Never mind, Chronic Intake has something to say about that. A fine death. Not sexy, clearing his angles, being patient, working it. Finds it! Time is of the essence here. They need to act fast. Viper is most likely going through showers, yes. As expected. Place time, well done, Viper. Ah, uh, that's good. Well done by AA to, you know, put something on the board to bring it back a little. Uh, let's see how much more they can get. As you see, um, TRT is closer to the 13 mark. They just need three more wins. But anything can happen in this game. So let's see how it goes. Hey, they're feeling it now. They played that smart. Zuzzy with the pain shells gets denied. No more. Oh my goodness. It's just wow. back and forth trades. Wow. Well, TRT decided that they wanted to get that round over with quickly.
they knew that, you know, eco round doesn't matter. We need to just get this one over with so that we can move on to her buy. So that we can have guns. Mm. And they did that. Interesting strat. I don't know if it was necessarily a strat, but hey, when you're on an <laughs> eco, you can you can you can just send it. Yeah, I mean they're way ahead in the kill score. And if it's that too. You know, it's just to give up a one win. One round. Give up so. a round to gain many others. Mm -hmm. Smoke's down. Give one to gain three. Yes, sir. So Z somehow eliminates two players right there. One enemy remaining. He gets treated to what he dishes out, but man, did he do a lot for his team? Chrome's answering back, oh. saying that hey, Zaz is the only one that can tap heads. <laughs> I definitely shifted the momentum in their favor. Zuzzy went out there and just made it known that, hey, we're trying to get this one over with. This is game number one? Game number one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, well, they're just playing the field right now. Everybody's just patiently waiting for their moment to strike. We have G-Savior on the jet ult. Let's see what he can do with these knives. Gets quickly flashed. Any vision that he had was denied. Gets flashed again, swams his knives frantically because, hey, my guy can't see anything. No, he's in quite the predicament. Chronic intake. Quickly. Putting someone to pasture. And now, they call a rotate. Anything that they could do on B side is no longer plausible. So they're moving towards A. But they don't know that someone's laying in wait for their advance. Reeks finds one, finds two. Finds wow. three, denies any plant. Match point. Freak is like, that's my site. You don't come to A. Go On B site is no longer plausible. So they're moving towards A. But they don't know that someone's laying in wait for their advance. What? Right. We see some chamber play here. Quickly trading what G Savior put on the board. What the? Bid? <laughs> Be denied. <laughs> Attackers are. are... Filling out, making openings. Oh, hold on. Didn't somebody like just walk past him? Lock sexy couldn't do two. Only good for one, it seems. Great. All by Riggs to prevent them from defusing. The Molly to slow any potential defuse. But he doesn't know that someone's behind him. Riggs is going to be killed. And he gets dipped with the one, two tea bag. <laughs> What can I say? Reeks made a good effort, but he did not clear his flank. <laughs> a little friendly <laughs> rivalry going on here.
Okay, well, match point. Let's see if AA has what it takes to bring it all the way. Great use of the paint shells to deny any push. Slow them. The bulk of the team seems to still be focused on the B side. You know, a very patient execute. Crom's looking for heads. Trying to open something up. Reeks putting his utility to great use. Then I should give him lots of info. Unfortunately, it does not capture what he needs. What is this? It's absolute madness back and forth. Fortunately, they get the plant, but... At this point, it's up to father. Actually, Joker, my bad. And that's... He finds one, but he can't find them all. That's game number one. It is over. Defenders win. GG. <laughs> Jinx. You owe me a soda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was game one. Um, the round table took it. Pretty good show in there. I did think this is the first um back and forth game we've had so far. Everything else was always a one-sided game. So we're happy with the fight that Aces Arsenal put up. Um now we're gonna get ready for game number two. Um the map this map will be Haven and the round table will be defending this stack. So fix up and let's get ready. Alright, will this be a what you call it? A two zero again? Or will we And it's it's looking <laughs> like they're they're fighting back. Aces Arsenal is trying to mount a defense here. Alright, let's see. They, they don't want to just get absolutely pushed out. They're putting some resistance up. Oh, you know what? I forgot to talk about our background. Oh. <laughs> As you guys can see, I have Phoenix in my background because he's my favorite background agent. Oh, I have Yoru in my background just because I think he's a cool character. Because he's from Japan. Yeah, he's kind of edgy too. <laughs> Got a lot going on for him. Neat uh, abilities. All right, all right. So we're giving the players a quick break. And uh, while they take that quick um, bathroom break, we are going to have a word from our sponsors, Digicel. So stick around.
Hey, thanks for the shout out in chat, John B. <laughs> and we are back. We are waiting on um the players. Okay. Wait. Okay. So let's just update the bracket. I'll give you guys an update on the other games. So offline we have Beagles playing four corner. Um they started around a half an hour ago. So I don't think it's finished as yet because we started about half an hour ago and it took us that long to finish the first game. So we have the round table of one and this is us now about to be thrown into the loser's bracket. Um, in the winner's bracket final we already have night raid waiting. That one won't be streamed until tomorrow so you have to join us again tomorrow at um five o'clock again to see how the teams fare and see who walks away with the one hundred thousand dollar um prize for the first place yeah that's what's happening so you guys should be seeing the updates on your street on your screen right now um showing you what games which teams want to watch games and where we are in the bracket we sessioning Based on what you've seen happen so far with the round table, do you think they're going to close this out in the next round? Well, I would assume, I'd assume that. But then again, it's anyone's game. At this point, I would, um, I'd hope that AA would somehow find a way to pierce their, uh, defense or to just make something possible but i'm not sure i don't know i don't know really okay um let's see maybe this is arsenal can get a closer game this time that one finish 13 13 4 was it i think so all right, so everybody is ready. We're going to jump into the game. Let's get into this one. Any predictions for what picks we'll see? You think the Yoru will still come back? Not sure. That's a strange one. But maybe he's just a Yoru main. Maybe that's his strength. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Um, The Phoenix is an expected pick. Phoenix has played on this map a fair amount. Back in the early days, Phoenix would always be on this map, so. That's the main Pusova. reason. Another come on pick here. That's the main reason they're picking Phoenix on this map. Oh. It's fairly easy to attack with Phoenix on this map. He's a good duelist on this map. Mm. You can flash in, double doors, walk up, you know, take ground. There's a lot of areas where Phoenix can be use well is you can use his ult to attack the sites fairly easily okay okay they pop they run it back run straight down long if you don't get shot then one of two things happen you get a kill or you get info all right makes sense all right so what first through these picks now we see three or five locked in oh well, all five select your agent <clears throat> oh grim Standard, you're going to need smokes. You're going to have to deny vision. Mm -hmm. Chamber. Strong all our own character. He basically can replace Jet. He takes a shot. Three positions. It's like he was never there. Reyna. All our own decent um, duelist. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about there. If you're a good player, then you can make a lot happen when you play Reyna. Astra on this side, I mean, this map, great. 
Cosmic Divide is going to be big. Asher Smokes, Gravity Well, all that stuff. Alright, so let's get into it. Mm. All right. Um. So we have uh, ERT defending this time and AA on the attack. Let's see how it goes. Before they get started with the fighting i just want to say i want us to have a huge LAN tournaments with team based games where people come out in their uniforms or jerseys i should say all right i guess we'll talk when we get away <laughs> back to you Shini. all right well here we go Pistol round, trying to set up your economy, establish your foothold. And as it stands, we're fairly even on the board. Oh my wow. they're finding two. Potentially finding three, but no. Denied. It was a very close one. You really gotta hit those, Fowl. Those one tops were nice, though. Yeah, that was solid. He. Took his time, hit his shot. It's just that if he could find one more right there, that would be it for his team. Good job, nonetheless. Nets him a little extra cash. But, yeah, that was solid. Inside side of the attackers, you're gonna have Took his time. SMGs, so. We're just gonna run it down mid. Well, in this case, see long. Rim, solid effort, you know, the shorty had in the corner. Spike planted. They will never know. Catch someone walking up, but he was dealt with quickly. Vid will find something with his pistol. Should allow him to grab a gun. Smart play would be saving that, but Vid is going for it. Nice, a good start by Aces Arsenal. It's wrong. Ah, that's what we like to see. AA, letting them know that hey, we're gonna be taking it from you this time around. I could swear this was the same way the first game started. Was it? I don't remember. Well, if that's the case, maybe they're good opening, but you know, they can't close. We'll see. There. No information gained from that knife into B. But the aggression is happening nonetheless. They decide to withdraw from that one. There's too much going on right there. They can't really tell. Also, they sold the fact that they wanted to take a there. So they can really move to any other side. Mm -hmm. And play picks, find an opening. Fortunately... On the side of the defense, they did not early rotate. They held their ground. Launching smoke. This is I just, just playing the field, wrapping it around, trying to see where they can get a pick, where they can establish some ground. Patiently awaiting their moment to strike. It has to be no. And Reeks. Not only Reeks, but not sexy. Finds two. One enemy remaining. The defense on the seaside is just ironclad. No one Ten broke through. Left. 
It's really up to Perchy you now to just take it easy. See that gun. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think they were too slow to rotate a while ago. Oh. Well, they were trying to test the playing field, see where they could, you know, catch a bite, but it really wasn't working for them. They were the ones who got bitten. Oh. I just realized that the defenders have free roam to go to all of the different sites and the attackers have to push. Yep, they're uh, connectors. Interesting. So, the easiest way is to gamble and just push one side all five. Not necessarily. You can have, you can sell a fake by just you know using utility on one side, having two persons go there and make noise, and then you know as three you push into another side, and then you come through later. Mm -hmm. It really depends on how much you can get into their head, what you can find. Maybe you can catch someone lacking, take a pick there. You can even get a pick on a site and leave the site altogether and then have them rotate early. It's really mind games. All right there with Chronic Dying. It's not ideal for them. The tempo on um, Aces has slowed down significantly. Not sure what's happening with AA, but they're just playing the waiting game a lot now. Mm -hmm. And Brim with the perfect molly completely destroys Perchy. Perchy gains no ground because of that excellent molly placement. And now they're just being mowed down. Lands the slaughter. <laughs> so those two rounds that they gain have been quickly equalized. It's evening. It's even footing now, and we're just gonna really see who does what. Defense definitely seems sure because they've been given so much time to well read what's happening, react to what's happening. I think they need to start going fast again. That's what was working for them previously, and now they slow down and just getting slaughtered. Yeah, disjointed push at the moment. They really couldn't make it happen, but. Doesn't matter, I think that was an eco. They just wanted a little money in their pockets. Eco. And now everyone's on a full buy. Jet might use knives this round. She didn't buy a gun. She elected to, to not buy, so knives are most likely the play here. Never mind, she bought. So as he finds, but he gets traded instantly. Oh no! Vid? Vandal spraying? No, no, sir. No, no. Oh, it's just, you know. Trying to see what they can do, where they can do it, because... Honestly, whichever side they want is theirs. Perchy fills, but Rix is quickly answered. G Saver is there to deny, not sexy.
Yeah. I was rough on um vid there in mid. He's trying to vandal spray, but you know, I ain't no phantom. You want to play? Let's play. Well, I need <laughs> spam. Somehow, Chronic puts himself in the position to get spammed out. It's looking really tough on the side of the attackers. I don't know where they're going to be able to gain ground. They're at a major deficit as it stands. With Astra having no health. What can they do here? Chamber is there to deny anything. It's looking grim. But Perchy replies with his op. Pretty back and forth right there. Well, as you mentioned before, Dex, they're, they're evenly matched. They're going at each other's throats, but no one seems to be like holding fast. It's good. We like these back and forth games. I think the tempo got switched on um, the round table and they haven't been able to respond to it. So the slow play from AA. Yet again, just feeling it out, trying to see where they can make ground. Definitely won't be A. The A defense is too strong. Last player standing. And no, we have Perchy. And Perchy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was caught <God> perching. <laughs> oh boy. A rock in a hard place. Oh, poor Perchy. Or Perchy. Scanning <laughs> ahead. Right. Inside of the attack, they're on pistols. It's a save. Let's see if they can do anything amazing here. Will they find the one taps that they need right now? Or will they just get mowed down? Like the follow that they're meant to be since they're on a save. Who's going to get their eco ace? Who's going to be able to brag to their friend that they killed an entire team with pistols? <laughs> well, definitely not legit. Yeah, she's looking worse for wear. But yeah, patient play here. They just need to catch someone making a mistake. But the defense is rock solid. They ain't moving. They tried to sell a fake for the Astra Stars. And they move towards A. Cosmic Divide, they're using an ult on their eco, so not too sure about that one. Probes though, definitely finds the one tap that he needs. There should be a gun right there for Chromes. Yes. 
This puts him in a way better position. This drone isn't supposed to be winnable for these guys, but they're making it happen. The Cosmic Divide definitely helps. Driving too well. I can't use that. Chromes finds another. Chromes is opening the site up. Ooh, wow. Oh my goodness, there's no way they just won that on an eagle. The sheriffs have done damage. That was amazing. They're allowed a lot more than they should have. Thank you. You think we'll get a game spirit of this? <clears throat> hey, it's possible, man. Very possible. Like, that's a round that they have no business winning. Really even mm. trade so far. Whoa, Chronic Into <laughs> gets phone. Perchy doing damage with that op as he needs to. Being the chamber player that they need. How much more will he be able to do? Chromes doing what he should, clearing these angles. Making his advance. As the bomb carrier, this is kind of sketch, but hey, his teammates are there to trade him. Trade should be coming in quickly. Nice. Well done. The plans, and no. The defenders need to find a way in. No sector to prevent the use of any abilities, but that's a little too late. Did find his way onto the site. Great use of the wall. Enemy remaining. Kills Joker. Down a. Ten seconds left. They don't have the time. And Percy decides that, hey, I'm going to save this off. It's better for me to take this into the next round. And he's right. Hmm. So let's see what the money's like on the side of uh aces. Money's well pff. it's okay, I guess. They can buy. Well Chronic won't be able to afford much. But without any question. The defenders are definitely in a better position. Vid didn't find anyone there, and that's great. That's where Phoenix should shine. Vid fails to find multiple in mid. His opportunity to do business, but Chromes says that, hey, if you can't do it, Vid, I will answer. Ah, they're in such a very oh cheeky spot. Father finds two! <laughs> wow. This is a great lurk play. <clears throat> he has bomb. This is his round to lose. Let's go, Father. Doing it. Where, where, where no one else could. Claws yeah. is round back for his team. Through patient play. Now, Perchy has his off. If Perchy's playing his right, he should be able to clear these angles. Catch father peeking. Father knows that Perch has an op. He's going to play this one. Smart. Not aggressing. Not challenging the op. Letting him walk into him. And we should expect a chamber on the enemy team to be on a flank. <laughs> well done. Well played textbook from father. Nice. Great job. Single-handedly turning that row in a row. This is way closer than the previous game. Oh. 
Philip, that works. But yeah, father did what you know fathers should do: carrying their children. Hunter's mark doesn't find anything. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Null command denies the use of any abilities, but Joker is down. The revive won't be coming. Man, these disjointed pushes from uh, Aces. Rome's just trying to, you know, make it a possibility. Trying to make something out of nothing, but it's very unlikely to happen here. They're going to scout him out. They're going to know where he is. They're going to be able to do what's required. But now it's just a... Yeah, matter of time. Switching sides. All right. So eight to four after some impeccable defense. Let's see if they're better on the attacking side. Uh, from what we've seen so far, you know, a fast-paced play gets you into one of those positions quickly. Allows you to get. It really depends on who you're playing against. True. Do they crumble when you make a fast play or can they hold their ground? Some teams thrive in that scenario where everyone's just rushing in. Right, so now we have TRT on the attack. Finding one already, putting it in their favor. The defense is slow, and Zuzzy keeps on pushing on through like a freight train. <laughs> any, any push from Garage is completely denied. Zuzzy is on fire, finding three. I'm not even sure what Chronic just did right there. He just wanted to get it over with. Chronic steps out the smoke and says hi. The B site is a gift, and they have it. <laughs> TRT doesn't even have to worry about it. Father finding two right there, just just impeccable play. Besides that, all he needs is a ghost, nothing more. One enemy remaining. Golly, they're playing their post plant positions perfectly. B-Side was given to them for free and they're like, okay, thank you. I'll make good use of this. And that's a clean round. Well, you know, lives were lost, but still, it went well. All things considered.
Oh my G Savior saying now, what are you doing, Father? You can't challenge me from mid with a Spectre. That's disrespectful. But yet again, it seems like their B attack is just strong and the B defense is absolutely weak. Let's see what Joker does here. Plays it patiently. But <laughs> denied any approach. So Chronic and Perchy know that they're on site. But what can they do? How can they break in? Perchy finds one. Equalizing this, making it possible. Perchy finds two. Vid's in a post-plant position. He needs to be patient here. Finds one. Does he find two? No, he doesn't, but... Is there enough time? Nope. There is. <laughs> there isn't. Yeah. Right. So that's three straight wins. Again, they're just rolling through. Mm -hmm. It's kind of looking like I'm not about to say it, but it's you know it's it's kind of tilting mm -hmm. towards that side. Where are you? Really don't know how AA plans to make this a possibility. Joker caught using new till pants down. G Saver mm. takes out Zuzzy, but not sexy. Decides to change the outcome. And oh, my word. Roams gets domes. <laughs> match point. All right, here we go. Match point. Never mind. He lost his dome. Are they planning to knife this last round? <laughs> it would be crazy not to. Take flight. Joke's over. You're dead. All right, the running back has been put into use. Where will he be able to find a pick or info? Watch your eyes. <laughs> Vid finds one to run it back. That's great. A life being traded for nothing. Something for nothing. Fortunately, Sexy does not walk out of that one alive. Will they funnel into the side and get picked off, or are they gonna find the picks that they need? Perchy finds one, making it possible. But they're on a sliver of health. It's really looking rough on the side of the defense. Perchy, can you do it with nothing? Can you make it happen? Perchy decides that he's just going to back off. Oh, did you get that? And that's a GG. GG's. TRT takes it home. And that's it. That's TRT making it. 2-0 victory over Aces Arsenal. They move on to the winners finals where they will take on um what's the other team again? <laughs> Night Raid in the fin in the winners finals. Interesting. Very. They Very had, entertaining um... as well. Honestly? They did so much that you'd think, well, I'm, I'm referring to Aces. Mm -hmm. They did so much that you'd think that they'd be able to make it, you know, a much more close match. But 
when it, when it counted the most, they would just, you know, fall apart. And then it became a game of individual play, not team play. And maybe that's where, you know, everything really fell apart. I agree with that. I agree with this too right there. Um, well, that's going to do it for us here tonight. Um, you can join us tomorrow when we get into the finals. So we have winner's finals, which is Night Raid versus Roundtable. And then loser's final, which will well, not loser's final. Um, loser's round three, which will be... Whoever wins between four corner and Beagles, and whoever wins between Aces, Arsenal, and Tamaki Gaming. And then we should have four matches for you tomorrow. The grand finals will be a best of five. So whoever loses in the winner's bracket will have to make their way back to the grand finals. And based on what we're seeing here, the two strongest players will be the strongest teams will be meeting in the winner's finals. And we should see them again in the grand finals. So let's see how that one goes. Entertaining stuff, Shani. Yeah, pretty good stuff so far. That one. Uh, there's stuff that you know teams need to work on, but with practice, I'm pretty sure they'll 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 figure it out. Yeah, definitely will. They just need to, you know, like as you can see, the round table plays together a lot. So, so does um night raid. And Aces Arsenal is a group of old boys, like in their 30s, close to 40. <laughs> but they still find time to play video games and so on. And then they um, added a Call of Duty player to their roster. So um, if they intend to get better, they have to get the practice in, they have to get the teamwork in, they have to get the rotations in, the calls and stuff like that. And those are what they need to work on and prep. So the good thing about it is that um, there'll be another Valorant tournament in October. So hopefully these six teams will be a part of the tournament then. And they can use the time between now and the tournament to get some more practice in, run some more scrims, and just get better acquainted with each other's play style. But yeah, that's it again for us for tonight. Um, we're going to show you the current graphics. And then we'll sign off for the rest of the night and then join us again tomorrow at 5 o'clock for day two. So we will see who the champion is and then who the second and third place are. As again, everyone, well not everyone, the top three players will be getting a share of that $100,000. Any final, final words to me? Mm. Well... <laughs> I'm just stoked for tomorrow. We're going to see these two good teams duke it out. Let's see how Night Raid handles a team that actually plays together. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm stoked. All right. All right, guys. Um, going to share the brackets and then we'll be following it at night. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you again tomorrow. Peace out. Okay, look, I've been on a mission to the top, and when I get there, it's gonna go down. Lapping the competition, why they telling us to slow down? Come for it all, no, that ain't enough just to go round. Waking up the sleepers, if you ain't know, ha, well, man, you know now, yeah. I'm not your average guy, we set that bar too high. There's more than monetary differences between you and I. Hey, hey, this the squad that you don't want to meddle with. You know we take it higher, we ain't never settling. Come on, hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. I be on my level. Pull up, pull up. All I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level. I be on my level. Can't touch me now. I be on my level. Hey, we be about to go off. These
boys ain't got no sauce. On the winning streak, I promise we ain't taking no loss. We ain't got nothing it coming, you and I. Money keep falling like stars out the sky. Take it easy, ay, they don't believe me. We on another wave, like we ain't hearing what he say. Yeah, they talking trash, you can put it in the garbage. When they know you rap the hardest, you gon' always be a target. Yeah, I put that on my mama. We ain't down for the drama. Keep on adding the commas, the numbers is getting longer. Hey, yeah, I told you, homie, we ain't nothing to meddle with. We just broke the knob, going to another level, yeah. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. Pull up, pull up, all I, all I do is win. You know, you know what it is. I be on my level, I be on my level. Can't touch me now, I be on my level. 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up, cause I'm going in. You know, you know what it is. 